already started. Uh, how far? Oh. Uh, as I was playing it, I really wanted to start commentating. Oh boy, playing games has very much made me, or streaming games has very much made me, uh, get into certain moods when I play games in general. Okay, part is office. Zendar One Kuwabara, Genius Society member one. I hung up his portrait purely out of respect. Without him, there would be no Genius Society today. Hmm. How nice of her. Frankly, I don't know what he has achieved. None of his books and inventions have survived. Uh, but there's got to be a place for the founder of the society, right? Huh. Huh. Interesting. Olga Kakamund, member four of the Genius Society. A woman full of mystery. Many people in the society died by her hand. I haven't heard anything about her for many years, but I firmly believe she is still alive. Hmm. Hey, Lord of Silence. If you're here, if you're listening, I'm member 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. Oh my god, Herda. This is Aiden, member 22 of the Genius Society. The most selfless and the strangest one. He spent his whole life helping others. Personally, I don't see the point. But the Society is famous thanks to him. The Inter-Astral Peace Corporation has been trying to find a replacement ever since his death. They searched for many Amber Eras, but no genius was willing to lower their head to the IPC. <laughs> Until they found me. Okay. Oh, Elias Salas, such a lovely old fellow. He is member 56 of the Genius Society, one of the only two publicly elected ministers in the Society's history. 
be grateful to him. He created the Synthesia beacons and overrange remote sensing, the cornerstones of modern cosmic communication. Hmm. However, he did not disclose his inventions to the public. So I hereby certify that the rights of these two technologies belong to the Intelligentsia Guild. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Guild, but it is impressive that they managed to reproduce Elias Salas' inventions. Interesting. Member 76 of the Genius Society, Skrulum. I've known him for a long time. He's a really good man. A gentleman with an exceptional mechanical mind. I've learned a lot from him. Recently, I have been working with him and Ron May on a project. I hope this project can help us get closer to the greatest mystery of the universe. Hmm. Okay, and what do you have to say for yourself? Bias there, maybe? Just maybe? And next not available yet. Boo. You aren't the real hey, Herda. There you are. Sorry. Who's waiting for you? I've been busy. What you're seeing is one of my remote controlled puppets. Yep. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras the truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. Uh. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? God, I love these writers so much. The writers slash translators. Oh my god, they are amazing. 42? 42 what? Uh, are you even listening to me? We want to solve the mystery <laughs> behind the eons. Right now, I want you to participate in this project. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the metaverse. Oh. Seriously, don't write that. <laughs> oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe. <laughs> so now many go jabs. And experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. Oh, fun. Today is yesterday's tomorrow. Yep. Oh, cool. Do 
I have. This one you can't even do, to, or one more. No, did. Uh. Well. Time to enter a simulate. Yes, just stand there, and the computer will read your brain waves, automatically generate an immersive simulated experience. Wee. Touch door. Can you see this message? If you do tap anywhere on the screen or just press X, your body is sitting still in the office. This generate from your memories. The only only an avatar server where the features are not fully available. Now try to walk around. See, you can move around now. I want you to play and find monsters. Okay. You look okay. Huh. Is this Hold on. Uh you look up, find Catlin's copper copper ore, amber, and opal falling from the sky. This is a wondrous mineral rain in this Steam the colossal thing stretches its spine, stretch their spine from the mantle with a sledgehammer gripped in the. You open your eyes, you realize that this is actually. Will Poth the Aeon of Preservation. Is this some kind of role playing? There's a huge roar. This is a warning for you, they open your eyes with this here. Our calculations are correct. Quigloth has... Oh my god. Her voice suddenly sounded and she let out an ambiguous giggle. The Aeon of Trailblazer... The Aeon of Trailblaze of the Lepla revival has attracted an old friend. Tell me more stories. What you saw was simulated Aeon. Aeon. Et, I, et, uh, cultivated by Rume and Screwlum. Uh, the simulated Aeons will ignore us just like the real one, so I simulated. So I set your simulated identity as Akivilla. Aeon of Trailblaze to attract them. Now with click her tongue. It now it seems though that my judgment was correct. Next time you run to Aeons, you should be get you should try to get something. What? <laughs> what do you want to know? Myths of Aeons and at and and to and and to and and on oh my god words a lot of stories the origin of the universe anything will do it was annoyed just think of something I'll cover the 
I'll cover you for this test. The, I use my Claire and Stone Hands for Bliss. Now you can have some fun. Don't ask why. Just thank me. Go on, pick one. Uh, when a character inflicts weakness, break. Get a shield. Characters receive a shield at the end of the turn. Upon entering battle, all characters. Blessings and simulated universe. Okay. Uh, oh. Two times speed. Auto battle. Oh. Okay. Fighting is meaningless. The hey. truth of life and death, revealed in an ends, the sanctuary is but a vision. My turn. Try that. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Uh, last. Okay. Alas, Quifal did not come, I guess, as much. Pick blessing that turns shields into. Pick the blessing that turns shield into damage. Okay. So this is pretty much the tower challenge thingy. Freeze. Yep. Too late to repent. I'm going to speed up process. Watch this awesome move. Attack deals quick damage. Darn it. Well, probably. Well, they probably won't come. Oop. Sorry, I temporarily revoked your activity permissions. I uh, need to apologize about something. I guess I am a little too eager for success. I won't interfere with the system again. Just play as you like. Uh, the thoughts of pure earnings was probably just a coincidence. That's it. Anyway, I'm sorry. Uh.
I just don't get. Huh, crash now or crash later? Move carefully. Meaningless. Let's make it quick. Good night, my friends. If I you wait in place, but nothing happens. Herda. There's a long silence followed by a deep sigh from Herda. I was expecting them, them to appear. Never mind. I'll switch off the simulated universe then. It'll only take a second, and you won't feel a thing. Let's chat back in reality. Simulated universe. And she just say it only take they came. Not no, not them. It's another Aeon. It's her voice suddenly drifts. You have a strange feeling about this as if heard his words solidified and the whole and the whole simulated universe became somehow unreal. You see a blurry figure made a Mirror fragments, and their facial features repeatedly refracted by the prism to form a mystery. Countless memories spring up before your eyes. You see Kafka, her body stretched, deformed, rubbered together with umbrella in her hands, turning into water droplets falling at your feet. You find yourself weeping. You. You find yourself become a weeping ad, ad libum baby with an uncut you feel cord. You remember that there is a golden scar on your body and golden blood flowing on the dying planet. You find yourself dark skinned and wearing a robe in the wasteland. You find that you are a swift shadow across the abyss reaching out to catch the shooting star. Then their voice suddenly came, the robe figure, the, the robe flutters and wraps around your dark skin. You laugh at ex exploration. The silk threads spin, overlap, and weave into oceanic worlds. Every <sighs> Every word they say is connected to each other like a whisper. Before you can say anything, they dis they suddenly disappear. Wait, let's talk about Kafka. We did it! And uh, Herna yells with excitement. That was fully... Though... They thought you were fallen at Kabila. Uh, so they actively started a conversation with you. Uli is valuable for our research because they have memories of all beings and know almost as much about everything as Noah does. Come on out, Stetch I want to upgrade the simulated universe. 
You need to stay in there even longer in the future. You said you wouldn't enter. It feels like a hook is pulled. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, success. I. Oh, why aren't you? Success. I have to tell the news to Steven right away. Such Dora, don't just stand there. Go in again for a walk, see if you can get a few more words out of them or something. Show me some respect. Oh, you're right, I got a little too excited, sorry. I do respect you. If you don't mind, could you please go in for another test? I've upgraded the simulated universe, now it has more RAM, can support longer sessions. I guess this last one was pretty boring, so I'll get Steven to add more fun stuff specific. This part specifically made for you. I hope you have lots of fun. Not as good as getting rewards in real life. Oh, that's for sure. After all, you're going to be spending more time on this project. Overall, okay. Overall, this is a long, unscheduled version update with longer gameplay. More content, better rewards, and a bizarre difficulty curve. So get ready and prepare to be back in the simulated beta simulated universe beta test. Oh god. I will I will help you out more. Oh, cool. Oh, you actually get her free. Increase wear damage, ultimate damage. Uh, aside from completing Trial Blaze missions, yeah. Enter missions, okay. Beat 15 enemies and simulated universe school. Uh, Herta. Master control zone. It's getting late. Where to now? Ooh, yay. Teleport. Finally. <laughs> Select space anchors and teleport. Double track everything, research topics, no progress, under a hook. Uh, okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, 
got for sale. Okay. Any purchases are coming. Huh. Okay then. Without asking, are you still at the space station? Of course, we haven't said farewell yet. The station is launching a program called Project Revival. If you have time, I'd like to ask you for your help. Oh, phone's credits are running out. This last message come, I'll be waiting. This adventure mission, which okay, help. Hey. Pat. Seems like it doesn't want to expose this. Remember the space station you can I get to visit. I just don't understand your tent just sits there. Teach it shake and sh shake and sit, it doesn't Hey, your commands any attention and looks up you and silent. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> this bunk's for jaw muscles. Okay. Arlen, head of security reporting to Oh, it's you. Sorry, I don't recognize you at first. I was just thinking of about ways to improve the security department's emergency response training. After all, this is an important, important part of Project Revival. If the Legion dares attack us again, I don't want to make things easier for them. Project Revival? Well, Project Revival is, set, is a set of post-disaster operational protocols that Lady Asta uh, and other... Oh, goddammit, I forgot about that. I... 
It also involves many other confidential initiatives, such as... Oh, good. Choreo Collection... What? Choreo Collection Squad... Security Zoning and Damage Assessment of the Pete... Okay. But implementations are not easy and believes the number of personnel needed exceeds our previous estimates. Sorry, but can you help us? I... That's why I immediately thought... Okay, two extremes. Order me around. Can you go to every zone and see if... By the way, here's a total of... Uh, I'm not sure how I should offer you since my living expenses are already covered by the space station. Oh, bullshit. I'm gonna charge you, hopefully, with your help. New message. Oh. Why well, someone help the sergeant with uh, about. Darn, did you hit the send all button, Abraham? He's terrified by every little thing. The squad has helped him with so many kinds of things that were uh, us. Just ignore him in the reception in the hall where I was working on Project Revival. I'm sure, Alfred would have. I still have on that one to watch on the sideline. She believes in justice. Sire. Sorry if my researchers inconvenience you in any way. I've already taken it upon myself to block the rest of your admirers who are still queuing to add your difference list. As for all those requests already received, it's up to you to decide what you want with them. Oh boy. Teleport. Hmm. Quickest way to throw up a pond of stagnant water is to throw in a nuclear bomb from the outside. Yeah, there's definitely one way. Like, what's happening right now? It's just... It's tame. Oh, did you hear that? No, I was just mumbling to myself. Okay, Watson. Why don't you just throw a stuff? Do we know each other? Not really. I, Elizabeth Watson, can tell right away you're no ordinary person. If you're like me and unwilling to surrender to mediocrity, then we are siblings of a different mother. This attack may seem like a disaster for to many people, but it is an opportunity for those who are smart. Seize it, my brethren. 
Nothing here is as simple as it seems. I hear how you destroyed the schemes of... Lord Ravager, it is rare for a youngster to have such outstanding talents. You have earned a reward. I hope you retain this courage in your future. You came to the right person, I'm going to guess to gain this attack. Their current relationship, I can't tell you everything, but they can tell you something less important. For example, some researchers... Ooh. Although I haven't found any conclusive evidence to prove it. What was their purpose? Kiddo, you, your question is very sharp. No structure is perfect. There's always a risk of collapse at any time. There are many reasons behind this attack. Pollution, a lack of defensive power, but none of this matters. The only thing that matters is the changes brought to the space station by this attack. What are you going to do? High risk, high reward. I'm going to dig deep and find those crooks. Okay, literally detective. Sweet. If anything, your presence is somewhat peculiar and deli deliberate. I smell conspiracy. Shh, don't to interrupt my train of thought. Sorry. You know, young people have no patience. Here's my advice for you. Learn to protect yourself when you're outside. You never know what other people are thinking. Huh. Galactic Public Service Award. And yet another... Uh-huh. Lord of Peacekeeping. Uh-huh. Okay. S sweet. This month's commercial insurance claim reminder. Okay. Did I ever go up? Oh, right. You have to, like, I'm from up, don't you? Ooh, I haven't been in here. Uh, same. I'm so sleepy. This is the so-called burnout time. Better go back to sleep. Hold on, I think I got something to do. What is it? What's in your pocket? An injection? Let me see. I heard a patient run out of medicine and needed supplies. But which patient was it for? Oh, I forgot. Uh, I can go back and check my record again. What a pain in the neck. I've uh, got something. Are you a doctor? Member of the medical department? Scope of my work may be even more complicated than the doctors. Don't come to me and if you're not feeling well, I'm only responsible for patients under my scope of work. I don't care of any random people I bump into. You look sleepy. I'm glad you noticed. Stop talking to me then, disturbing up people. <laughs> Disturbing a person who's trying to sleep is even worse than waking somebody up who's already asleep with this. Hey, what's that distress, distressful and concerned look on your face? Although I easily feel sleepy at work, I take my job very seriously. Don't think of me as some stupid doctor who would leave a <laughs> hemostatic cotton inside their I'm glad you noticed, then leave me alone. I'm either delivering or going to deliver medicine. I should have signed a robot to this job, right? If it wasn't for Legion's invasion, that kind of thing would be my dude. I wish the lead research. Okay. Oh, if you're not feeling where, don't ask me. Okay. Afro. Nice. Oh. 
Don't mind me, just gonna break some things. Very ordinary robot providing very ordinary serv life services aboard. You know, has buttons. Or shut it down. Saving just a tiny bit of power. Excellent. Done it without me. I uh, yeah. uh. well, 
Hello, Harada. State your business and stop blocking my view. You look like you need work. How about assisting me with tiny... So the other third are probably just going to be done in this. You may not believe this, but... You may not believe me, but when I first started here, I came here specifically to take a photo with it. It? Which one? Well, the thing right in front of you. It's just projection, though, so what? You have to understand, I'm the only one in my family who have ridden in a spaceship before. It's a photo for my family. And they must be really proud of you right now. How much you want to bet they aren't. Three out of four curios are missing when... If it isn't the infamous Stush Dora, surely you're here to volunteer for the... Oh. Here you must be... Queen. I've heard good things. Please excuse me for this informal reception. Please allow me to reintroduce myself again. I'm... I'm not going to try. Your... Win, win, okay, sure. Uh, the head of hetero department. Heard, uh, God, these names are so bad. Head of Herta Department of Implemented Arts. I'm also the Curio Collection Squad leader in charge of establishing safe areas in the base zone. Let me be frank, I'm currently troubled by the okay there are four zones we've hurt with our current capacity we can only take care of one if the situation persists persists I wonder what would I wonder when we'll achieve our objective we have set out in the declaration of revival after calming myself down and giving it some thought I realized that recruiting external members may be the solution while I was lingering on that thought, you began a conversation with me. What a pleasant coincidence! Oh boy, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let me know. I want to ask, uh, development arts, important department within the space station, implement arts is... We oversee the incoming and outgoing going of all of our assets, including inventory checks and counts. Furthermore, we maintain close communications with the IPC uh, for someone as well traveled as yourself. I'm sure you've heard of a reputation. Dude, I have not traveled outside of this entire space station. Uh, what's this collection zone thing? Uh, Squad thing. A uh, temporary emergency unit. My disaster relief has if suggested. Is mainly responsible for collecting the areas that have been displaced due to the recent monster invasion. Safe zone. It, it is the very ground on which we stand. Stronghold in which the space station researchers fought back against. Although the situation is generally under control, monsters have not been completely wiped out. The safe zone is a result of our 
transition plan for us to take back all the lost zones. I am confident all the dots will eventually... I don't have any other questions. Good, you work out. Okay. Okay. Abraham. He's very so sure that this zone is completely under c the c control of the. I remember you. You're the guy that's morbidly scared of death. Remember me? Oh, I also remember you. Uh, but now I'm not afraid of death anymore. The friends who went to. Uh huh. Life is a path. Life is but a path to death, but not today. I don't want to. Oh! Oh! Oh, this guy. I remember this guy. I don't want to die at the hands of the monsters. I'm afraid to leave Alfred. Mrs. Hinkle transferred me here from the obstacle detection terminal so that I could follow the lead, lead of Wynn, head of the collection squad, uh, toughen me. Front line, but as soon as I came here, I, I encountered a problem about reactivating that space hammer. The solution's just a few steps away. It look, it may look like me, but I must, must. Do oh my god! Well, actually, the activation itself is not particularly difficult, but. Yeah. The real challenge is that all the monsters along. Uh huh. Uh huh. At that moment, yep. Yeah, it's okay, buddy. Leave it to me. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Open the damn door. That safe zone. Triple authentication failed, failed to open.
I'll give her a damn hammer. Huh. We need a strategy. Yep, that. Stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> Here, let's make it quick. Let's make it quick. It's gonna hurt. A guest with no manners, huh? Give you a present! 
Let's go. Okay. Oop. Rules are made to be broken. Single target. You must be honored to meet me. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? <gasps> All yours. Jeez. A guest with no manners, huh? Uh. Who's the lucky one today? Do, 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 do. To me. With me out here, how can we lose? Okay, protect you. It's gonna hurt. I don't remember inviting you. Look out. Right up here. Uh, Try that again. Try hard sometimes. Hey. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present. What are you looking at? Right. A gift from the stars. Battle all over, yay! And Edie. Special access card, vaguely, vaguely distinguishable from the others. Ship. Okay. Uh, the words can be read on it. Okay. Huh. Have all allies have ten turns of actions of action unbroken by enemies. Hm. A hunt. Oh, that one. Just a sec.
Uh-huh. Or shut it down. <laughs> yep. Saving all of the power. Five, five, five. So, oh. Need a healer. I wonder when the game's actually gonna give you one. Okay, also, I have a feeling. Terrified. Oh. The complete trip. Master control. Actually, I... 
I go in here, will I find it? This was the elevated place, right? Within 300 meters. Uh, left safe zone. Oh my god, this game. Is that what? No, because there's okay. You may not believe this, but Abraham. The hunt on the left, harmony on the right. The dragon on your chest. On the chest is preservation, the chant of yada yada. I remember sight, but. God, but I only recite this chant 167 times and you already activate it. When I was reciting, actually, when I was reciting the chant, I figured it all out. Since you helped me complete my task already, now I continue to stay on the same team. I eventually I'll hunt down the monster that I've killed, Alfred, and avenge him. I will prove that I have the courage and not afraid of death. Farewell. Space station special permit, uh, most cabins, mysterious card. Oh, wait, okay. So those cards, yeah. Uh, okay, the next one was in storage zone, or there was one in storage zone and then one by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> A gift from the stars! 
You have the worst luck running into me. Watch this! Time to twirl! Okay, great nice too. Time to twirl! Rules are made to be broken. Single target. And it. Yay. You couldn't have done it without me. Hold on. Let's make it quick. Time to twirl. Okay. And that on two. <laughs> you have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present! Back me. Let's go. Take this! Time to twirl! God. You must be honored to meet me. Rules are made to be broken. Security screen slashing the button. Okay. Not forget, dear colleagues, thank you for your contribution. Ninth cup. Come on, put your nose in. Oh, you're still trying to drink. Why are you drinking so much? Who are you? How come? I have a few questions. Are you trying to? Ah, how do you know about that? Have you heard the story about that woman? I'm surprised people. Yeah. Leslie, like, uh huh. About Leslie, understand this. I'm an Emily, technically, though I'm her sister. Even though technically I'm her sister, I hope you can know me as an individual, independent, independent individual, and, and instead of associating me with that woman. Oh my god, words. I was born a bit later than her. I know I'm better. Yep, okay. Rumors, coffee consumption, research uses. These rumors are everywhere on the space station. Why did you have to brown me up? If you here to verify the rumors, I can tell you with 100 certainty that yes, Leslie is just a genius like that. But if you're thinking of getting insider information or playing some weird games through me, I'm warning you, it's the best. You best drop the thoughts right now. Okay, that's the wise thing. Leave me alone. Stop worrying about Leslie.
Let's go. Take this! Time to twirl! Time to twirl is actually... Does that, does that come from her uh, thing? Every time it... No. Oh wow, that... That's just a thing. All to 50% or lower. Oh, okay. Make it quick. Huh. You must be honored to meet me. Maybe you can keep it down. I could use the old. Remember inviting you. <laughs> but I not Watch this. Want to build up. by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Ever see a diamond this big? Oh, it's all yours. John. A guest with no manners, huh? On you. Let's go. Huh. What are you looking at? Do you know who I am? Really? <laughs> it's all yours. Ooh. Time to twirl. Jeez. Yeah, I ain't wearing that one. Okay, hold on. Claim. Oh, 
Ah. Interesting. What is this place? Thousand stars can be seen vaguely printed. Okay. Then increase the wearer's defense by sixteen if the wear oh. Hmm. Preservation, that might actually be pretty good. I don't know though. I don't know the map. I don't know anything in this game. Uh,
Wait. Don't. Wanna go take some pictures? Man with weird hair. IPC, let me remind you. Let me level. Okay. Upgrade. Current number in line is zero. The Maryland. Hmm. Dude. People come and go in the space station, but the researchers are oblivious to the present. Can't help but. <laughs> and a primal impulse begins to course through you. Why are you rummaging through other people's things? Um, well... Huh. 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 Okay. If only I got paid more. Why is it so expensive? I've been throwing all my money bounding at it. If I knew not a second hand, if I were rich, I'd both buy loads of superconductors and throw them. Uh. Everything happens exactly as, uh, okay. I... Medical captain? No, I trust my body. I think I get to it. Okay. I have a few questions. What, Lord? Okay. Mystic. Yep. I... Okay. Has leap from the bottom to the middle. 
meaningless lyrics. Huh. Give them... You feel a big pain. Away from side effect from clicking the upload button so much. <laughs> uh huh. Fan reward. Items up to. Huh. Okay. Press random buttons, get random things. Wait. Oh god, no, I have a... Uh... You're experiencing insomnia, night sweats, hair loss, headaches, total loss of appetite, or surge in appetite. Please contact... Okay. So if anything is wrong with you, please see, uh, medical team. That boy playing with the stupid rocks again, I have no idea what he wants to do with this future. If he keeps doing this, we can't blame other departments for looking down on us. He's hopeless, how's he gonna achieve anything? Sigh at the fleeting romance between men and women is a, is an obstruction to the scientific research. What are those rocks? Emotional sustenance. Leslie is so young, promising she's the only person who went to the... Oh? Oh, if you spend half as much effort. Just comment on something like that. You would you be prepared? Okay. I'm old, I can't. Uh-huh. Make worse lies some yep. I don't have anything else. Yeah, she's the one. Unfortunately, I haven't yet. here.
Fuck you. <laughs> Everything is ordained by the star. Oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. My turn. <laughs> Let's make it quick. I'll try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Mm. Let's go. Luscious hairstyle kneeling down and reaching towards something. Okay. Okay. So, luscious hair man. Nope. Is kneeling and reaching for something. Wanna go take some pictures? Piece of paper falls out. What's this? Squinting, you discovered words Department of Insight printed on the page. There's a cat like sticker on the bottom corner. Not like this. Oh boy. Space uh, plant. Primitive from this level base. Perfect. Words. Toss them in the trash. To redo organizing all people, I'm dying. It hurts. Uh, I can help too. Oh, good kid. Not many good kids. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm. Oh, okay. Uh, department. I got something to ask you. The department stuff. Oh. You're such a good kid. I shouldn't trouble you. We got enough people. Yep, brave hash science. Uh huh, flatter. Yep, yep. That's all I have. Okay. All counts as luscious hair. Oh, 
Wait. It doesn't mean Peppy, does it? That just bars. <laughs> okay. Settled a lot, yeah. Be honest, conclusion. I was not right. Literature you cited here. Are all from outdated text. Hold on a minute. Does out. What does outdated mean? These are all the latest up to date articles. Go take a look for yourself if you don't believe me. But by the time the papers published, they could have been changed, so that's what I'm saying. Your research simply isn't rigor. Oh. oh. Mm, nothing special so far in here. Everyone are wearing the same clothes. This alliteration. This test. Your hairstyle so cool. Top cut too unsightly bald, too hard to pull off. Now this hairstyle is just right. Big curly and puppy. Feels good. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Yeah, you're on the right track right now. Although, Invincible Space Warhead Association is still in its initial stages. We have a great momentum. Come to expand it before long. We'll have big. Oh my god. Ah, I see. Now's a good chance you can. Join become, first become big curly puffy. Huh. Full Daily, condition weekly, strength and monthly. Barbara cut. Oh, Barbara Kadada. 
Um, How on earth are we supposed to wreck? By their hair. Take this somehow. Ha. Ha. <laughs> okay. Special access card detected three. Three in total. Classi classification level unclear. Triple off the is where's the usual spot you spawn plot them to get ah. Soon. Doop 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 doop. Doop 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 doop. This must be the door protected. Let's do it. Submit. Oh. Oh. Could fight. <laughs> Here! 
Let's make it quick. Huh. Honored to meet me. Huh. Try that again. You can't run. Who invited you? Oh my god. Rules are made to be broken. Uh <laughs> Ordained by the star. Oh, stars. Support. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Huh? Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Here. Huh. Uh, all of you. Ordained by the star oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. My turn. <laughs> Here. Protect yourself. What are you looking at? Dead. 
he did. Treasure chest? Who? Seriousness of breakfast. Erudition. Increase for every enemy that he did. Ooh. Ooh. Note to intruders. You don't move. When you find this note, you've already entered surveillance zone of my sky eye system. In other words, your exploration operation, which you thought went undetected, has been noted down by me. I've gone through the trouble of triple encrypting this chamber it, just to lock the boring past within. I can't let you go now. It's, uh that is this jerk okay there's no stud okay yep <laughs> how nice of her uh, you're a lifetime premium member, Asta. Thank you for shopping at Cosmo Premium. And we've received your order and have arranged for delivery. You've chosen online payments. Exact shipping information. This comes with one package containing the following items. Exclusive fresh product. Fruit flavor, strong and healthy, calcium rich milk, 10 cartons, 20 bottles of each. Huh. Shattered blade grit. Huh. Five <laughs> piece armor set made of. Oh my god. <laughs> Obtain 20 types of light colors. Find all readable items regarding uh, the mission and. Huh. Family insignia with hot pot.
Ouch, be part. Huh. Do you have enough money? You managed to spend such little money. How did you make... Earlier this year, I had the pleasure of meeting you in a good the scammer particles. Oh my god. Founder of the anti <laughs> Oh my god. Huh. Is that it? That's it in here.
Okay, the last point. Uh, I... nope. Nope. Go here. Teleport. Ordained by the star, so stars give these trailblazers your blessing. Let's make it quick. Okay. The stars will always remember us. Nope. Mm-hmm. 
Increase. of life and death with the sanctuary is but a vision Break. time to twirl <laughs> time for the main event Keep up. ready to lose yourself Aaron. you can fight it or rock with it time to twirl okay time to twirl time to twirl time you to couldn't twirl. have done it time without to me time to twirl time to twirl time to twirl for the time Lepla, huh? It's my English. So over here. This is where I woke up. That's right. You're back where your story started. Any chance thoughts we can throw? You remember faces? Yep. Oh, sweet. That's an achievement. from the puppet. I'm no longer in safety. Oh, no. Oh, hey, I think I can, uh, Shattered curio particles floating. Huh. Tap it a few times? Nothing's tapped again. Doesn't seem like anything is different. Tap it. <laughs> Previously to Huh. God. Just tap, 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 tap. The blacken detected a weird. Uh. I fixed it. I whacked it. <laughs> and the crack disappeared. I can't believe <laughs> I can't believe it here. The black end. The back end. Data. Ha <laughs> 
Oh my god. Okay. Ooh, sweet. Conduct. Collection room is an important space in which curios are kept without permission. Persons unrelated are not allowed to enter or use. Of course, even with permission, Matter Herpa has yet that it, she can do anything she wants here. It's her place. Uh, items are managed by special personnel, it cannot be loaned out for exhibition or research. Items that can be loaned out for exhibition research must be done so under the supervision and guidance, of course. Uh, permit, exhibit, any, permit to exhibit any of the collections will be evaluated by her herself uh, in the time bring negative effect. That's the right final interpretation of <laughs> Of course she does. Ooh. I repeat, prototype. Uh, asteroids have become so common after being mass produced. Energy black hole it can absorb energy but not food. Suspiciously oily sheen over the metal casing seems to be part of. It seems likely the part about food was added recently. <laughs> okay. Joy filtration set. Portable device inside the cubes can be used. To identify and collect joyous emotions. Every living being should own a complete joy, joy filtration set. One can never have too much joy. This totally sucks out the joy from others though, doesn't it? Unbearable. Crown. Oh. Oh. This thing. You try it on the crown, it looks like it feels as though the crown is far too heavy. It looks like knowledge is pretty dense. Oh, yes. Uh, where, where's my bookshelf? The, uh... Ta-ta. <laughs> uh... Yes. Or as a <laughs> one of the best things, Totonids are fucking rocks. Lack of feathered wings about the height of a grown human, maintaining appearance of flight. You imagine a figure of an adventurer flapping those wings rising with the wind. Ah, uh, I wonder. You feel the wind, a warm welcoming wind blows your blows on into your face. Behind you a windmill turns past. Okay, N nice little nod there. A house of cards. Forty cards are stacked in a precise arrangement to form a spire. Pull away even a single card, it will collapse into a 
ruinous heap. Perhaps this is how cash how causality works. We have a thousand choices, but there's only one outcome yet. Okay. Crimson fragment floats in the air. Okay, so the fact that this is a reference, this is, okay, I'm assuming one or multiple of these are actual uh, references to uh, um, the other uh, Hokai game, Hokai, oh, the, the other games in this series. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, hang on. Let's see. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, right, there's uh I never unlocked this entrance. Oh wait, I don't think I could because that light was it was that okay, I don't know. Entered safe zone. You. Too late to repent. Time to twirl, time to twirl, time to twirl. It's always time to twirl. Huh. Freeze. Not be the best idea, but we'll see. Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Uh. Oh, okay. No interest in conflict. Time for the main event. Keep up. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Here. What are you looking at? That's it. Try that again. Ready to lose yourself? Not you can fight it. With it. Gotta try hard sometimes. Hey, Watch Ollie. this awesome move. You can't run. Time to twirl. Too late to repent. Time to twirl. <laughs> Time for the main event. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. Okay. Honored to meet me. Oh boy. Time to turn. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Uh, it's just... The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Try that again! <laughs> Time for the main event. Let's rock! My turn! <laughs> Here! Back what are you, you looking at? is meaningless. <laughs> Time to 
time for the main event. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Told you I could fight! You! <laughs> to meet me. I'll try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Back all of them. Do you know who I am? Mm. This big diamond! It's all yours! Beat up everything I ever want. No interest in conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. Uh, you. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. <laughs> Time for the main event. For the main event. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Honored to meet me. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> this song's for you. Let's rock. Okay. Sweet. Society. Okay. I think that was silly. Take a sip. You feel lingering warmth. Huh. Take another sip. <laughs> So, <clears throat> bitterness seems to have dissipated in your taste buds. Took off the veil to consume more. You seem to be a monk. Birds. Huh. Light. Uh. What? Are you feeling dizzy? I was told you're alone. Oh. Bitterness in your mouth. Stomach pains. Leave you. That cup of coffee. Yes. Hey, three. Defeat three enemies using D O T in a small battle. Oh, wow! It threw me all. I want to... Where was I?
Okay. So I went... Okay, so teleport back here. Push the button. What? Unearthly, mar unearthly marble is made special of the. So it's just... Yeah, okay, so it's just one nice of those. Pat on the back for that one. Okay. Oh, I can't take a sip of the coffee again. Boo. Okay, wait. This was where the card was. I've already done that. Six times. Messages. Sister Stashdor, can I ask you something? Lots of little robots have been disconnected from the terminal. My checks say they're... Security department. I confess I did it. <laughs> All right, don't do it again. I'm going to for it this time. <laughs> totally going to do it again. Totally going to do it again. have done it without me. Uh. Oi. You fucks were letting... 
Huh. My dearest admirer, your letter is well received, your most cherished idol, master. Not one. Or huh. You got it all wrong. Don't scare me like that. If I get it wrong, I will lose my job. Do you need help? Nope. Okay. This guy. <laughs> what are you? Oh, no, last all. Don't worry, I'll show you the way. My name is Capote. 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 I am a member of the Department of Ecology, but my other identity is even more important. I am a Die-hard fan of Madame Hertha. I am here to make... Uh-huh. How many people have had their pain soothed by you? I'm not someone who likes... I hope first. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. They no longer have their eyes clouded. They're able to passionately look back. Uh-huh. The way you move seems deliberately designed. I understand what you mean. Many people have told me the same thing. People always get attracted to my... Oh. Uh-huh. What do you think of the invasion? A disaster, absolute complete disaster. Everybody concerns. Mm -hmm. An image, not clear component seen damage. Your department has a new coffee startup. Is it raking in cash? Uh, it's no big deal. Come on, tell me your secret. How'd you do it? Actually, it's quite simple. We keep our R&D costs low and spend our budget elsewhere. By elsewhere, you mean... <laughs> well, I can't tell, tell anyone, but it's all about promotion. Especially viral marketing. Ah. So, lower product, lower quality products, all the market. YouTube sponsors, then. I'm not sorry for that.
Fine. Forms on this silicon based world unveiled new ways. Oh, these these guys. the transmission shared a piece of genuine history of the Do you know Mesfink? No, who's that? It's only a rumor, but I heard this Mesfink is offspring of Tadonid the third. Isn't Tadonid the third's offspring Ros Rosenbank? They're famous for their wisdom. That's what I said. That's why I said it's a rumor. Rosenbank is the one, one above the table, and Mesfink is. An illegitimate one. What? No way. If if it were real, there's no way. Hey, Rosavink didn't find out about this. Maybe Rosavink didn't find did find out, and and they just didn't expose it yet. You know, maybe Ms. Fink is not only. Thirds, but also. Oh. oh my word, this is ridiculous. But it does sound like something the Imperial family would do. To summarize, the researchers believe that the Tonid crystals also experience differences in subject. I do not wish to deny this. <laughs> You are outstanding researcher. However, there is an error in one of the researchers accidentally included their own transcoded print. At least we know now there is a need to pay attention to media literacy in this. Huh. God. May we wish you with her Damn it, that's backwards. May we wish you with her Voice seems to contain a Notice, can someone understand what I'm saying? What it is saying? I, so I can't borrow the unbearable weight. Oh. 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 Oh, are we, uh. I thought that's. Huh. 
total eclipse of that. <laughs> Curio number 1381, total eclipse of the heart, the dull life blood. Turn around right now. Uh, where are you here? Unbearable weight. Investigates. You recall a record. Valuable learning opportunities can't be squandered. There's no need. <laughs> There's no need to be cautious. Language barriers are a thing of the past. Ever since the Intelligentsia Guild recreated. Oh my god. A completely new language floods your synapses. You feel dizzy. Okay. Congratulations, you learned a whole new language. Oh my god. Use carry. Only understand the reason why the. Huh. So. These controls are not right. Okay, so go back here. Nope. Teleport. Don't talk to them quite yet. I'm gonna go back over here. And you shall be crowned the Emperor of Totten. Huh. Despite never having met Tottens, you trust they must be in possession of great of the greatest taste in all the universe. Huh. Wait, did I just learn the Totten language? I think I just learned the Totten language. Work material. Yeah. Ooh, you got it. Hey. 
Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Here. Hey. Time to twirl. You can't run. Try that again. Damn it. Okay. Life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! Of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Yep. Gotta try hard some. Watch this awesome move. Lower than recommended. Yeah. Hey. Actually, wait, what is it? This one. Okay. Uh. Like set up. Oh my fucking god. I hate that triangle is confirmed. Doop a doop a doop a doop. Try this again, this time with. Yeah. 
First and foremost, we're going to protect you. So they love to go for the defense. Oh my god! They're I don't Who's yeah. Yeah. Do you know who I am? This big diamond It's all yours Let's go. Fuck you. Time to twirl. Of course you did. Yep. What the fuck? I was able to take out a level fucking 19. Why can't I fucking kill this? Oh my fucking god. Sweet. Uh, there's a fucking cooldown system. That's right. And that's shared across all of them, isn't it? So, for instance, if I were to go here, yeah, oh my god.
Okay, hold on. Inventory, I have food, right? To loot. Sure. Consumables. Yep. Keep at it. Okay. Nope. Buttons. Teleport. God. Shit, I really need a fucking healer. Oh my god. I won't break. Who invited you? <laughs> huh. Honored to meet me. Rules are made to be broken. Uh, single target. <laughs> Rules 
are made to be broken. Yes, it's a break, of course. Try that again. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Sweet. Try that again. So cool. Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. So great. How is this so much harder than anything else I have done? I don't wanna be alone. God fucking damn it! What the actual fuck?
Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, character light cone levels are low. Light cone levels give me increased. Moving. Okay. Should not wanna go take some pictures? Have this much fucking trouble. Where's attack? Oh. Okay. Stack of mischievous. Each stack. Huh. Interesting. What's my other one? Increase speed, increase critical rate. And where it defeats an enemy versus first three turns. Oh my fucking god, you stupid cable!
more of those. Okay, that I want. Okay, I'm gonna lock that for. Huh. Okay, that's the debuff. Set up. Switch you for you. Okay, I. Fuck. Need to heal. Which ain't gonna be fun. Do I have. Form of food. Oh, thank goodness you're all say it's a pity that we haven't had the chance to talk much, and now the express is about to leave. Is you... serious? Well, Madam Herta gave me a piece of code, which she apparently wrote on the way here. I just tried it out, and the defense shield's regenerating three times faster than before. Cool, can you regenerate Thanks my health her, three times faster? The anti-matter legion outside is not much of a threat anymore. The space station's repairs and reconstruction can also begin smoothly, but internally. When the Stellaron was extracted, even for that brief moment, it corroded the space station and formed a new space, what we now call the Fragmentum. The part that was corroded is irreversible, so the space station will always be in a state of quasi-Fragmentum. Will I also be corroded? Uh, I'd like to know the answer to that as well. All existing fragmentums are connected, so monsters will be able to enter the space station through the fragmentum here. But it shouldn't allow anything to exit your body, so... Well, that's good. We talked with Arlan, and there's no easy solution to this problem at the moment. We can only increase the security and patrol frequency to protect the ongoing research. Make sure you don't After bring all this is over, I'm putting my vacation time in with Madame Herta. I've got it all planned. I'll hop on an airship and give the blue a good look. Will she oh, let you? I guess so. I haven't taken leave once since I joined the space station. Oh, and if I have an actual full vacation, I can take my time to collect observational data and finish writing my paper. Hmm. Of course, there's already a lot of published research on the blue, but I want to study it myself. It might sound a lot like work, but uh, it's really just a hobby. Uh, there are no deadlines or quotas to meet, and uh, I don't get paid. Mm, I, I like you, but you have a stellar on in your body. If you were just wandering around, or if you agreed to be sealed away in an experiment pod, that would be fine. But, if you're going to work in the space station long-term, the Stellaron may have some serious effects on the station's fragmentum. As the lead researcher, that's a risk I cannot take. Oh. I can sense your enthusiasm for the space station, but I'm afraid I have to turn you away. Uh -huh. Oh, sure. Okay. Well. Ugh. Oh, 
back here. Okay, you sack of garbage. Using skill to okay. Ah, abundance. I don't really love being able to. Huh, crash now. Move carefully. My turn. Okay, protect the healer at all. Let's make it quick. Life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! This is our chance. Oh my god. Finally. Looks good. This 
Mm-hmm. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. So that's how it works. Ah, open thirty chest. No reaction. Just come on, mine. Ah, doop, 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 doop. I am so close to being dead. Oh my word. Okay. Tinkle. What's this battle of intellects as a source of pride? Physical exertion brings sh Oh my god. Not about that. Now we're going to show them what real work is all about. Here, here. All staff present. Please, heard of such a going through a difficult period of the battle with the Legion and some of our colleagues. Some of our colleagues and their but oh boy. The cyber attack has erased years of research efforts, damaged custodians are disintegrating. Oh my god. Everything within sight has been turned into a wasteland. Monsters are still roaming in our cabins. No matter how many dazzling achievements you may have made, you you may you have made on your own. We can no longer afford, afford to live like hermits. You need to mobilize. I'm all ears. I don't mind. I don't want to hear any more complaints about this labor. Nor do I want to see anyone putting off work. If you're interested in cryo recovery, please report to. Okay. I can help. Good, good. You're the young lady who helped out in the master control soon. I have a specific task for you. 45 me 45 meters out the door from where we are now, there is a major road defect. I checked the small ordnance depot. On the other side is swarming with monsters. Don't worry. Yes. Make sure to repair the road and eliminate monsters at the end of it. I have many other... Oh. the end of the story in your own way. Yep, yep. Oh, 
Cool. I actually got everything. Do you have a need? Also, I they really want you to use uh well, I guess it kind of does make sense because he is a starter character. He is one of the free ones you get. Uh... Hey, I did it. Young lady, you're back. Let me concentrate. Concentrate and inspect your work. Left lighter on the left here, confirm some eye clock. Such incredible skill. It's just sonar positioning, nothing to brag about. And the Heard a Department of Ecology, yada yada. Staff. This one. Hey, uh, can. Oh my god, where do they put it now? Okay. Turn, turn Bluetooth off. Oop. Okay. Yeah, don't try to fucking use Bluetooth. Oh my. Uh, you care about. Thank you, you care about back when I was an unknown researcher to the effort. Yep, okay. I've completely lost any and all interest. Not available yet. Ooh. That's some question. Uh okay, screw it. I don't let's just see. I'm assuming Life and death will be the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Uh, 
Well, other strange thing. Strange thing happened again. A chill runs, creeps up your spine. Myth, myth, myth. My fucking god. My fucking language. So fucking bad. Mist clouds. Mist clouds your eyes. I see a familiar face thing. This time they're even closer. You feel their presence. Bululi, the, the, the thing of remembering, appears again. They float in midair, bowing their head from above. Are they looking at you and not sure? You tell yourself, stay sober, speak low. How did you manage? Chaos turns into time. You're the real derelict, derelict, dereliction of duty will pass. Volume is no longer proportional and steps reduce one step, two step, three feet away from everything. Uh, the Elo train moves forward, baby falls on the ground. Cancer is growing after here. They draw away, disappear. You feel relieved. You hear her heard his voice again. You met Fluey again. Well done. Previous testers never got a response. Sounds like she sat down from her excitement. Her voice has returned to the usual emotionless mechanical register. Just what did you upgrade? What do you think an upgrade is? The next version, tiny reward handed out. <laughs> this a whole micro universe. If you, huh? There is a downloader just a little further. Remember to use it to. Expand your team, your brain gradually adapting the more RAM. The, okay. Remembrance. The blessing of remembrance is manifested in ice, which will enhance freeze buffs. Interest in conflict. Told you I could fight. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Uh, smash. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Tough luck running into this. Let's go. Huh. And select a blessing. Hmm. Let's download the terminal. Go give it a try. Uh, 
download additional characters. Huh. Herda has joined the team. One downloader can only add one character. Please make it count. Okay, can take it. Fuck you. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Time to kill! Attacks it for huh. Open map. Here's the map. First tap, you'll find your route progress. This little feature is useful. Interesting conflict. Told you I could fight. Uh, Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch Ooh. this awesome move. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Beat with that. are falling you can't contain your excitement your genius you're sure of it your concentration starts to crumble you lo love the shaking of every leaf you enjoy the destructive power of endless thoughts until you realize that something is wrong with you this is not you uh oh they're here Aki Villa, Aki Villa, voice laugh loudly. It's been so long, I missed you greatly. Your hair, your hair stand on... And this is the infectious enthusiasm of a madman. Uh-huh. Aha! Uh -huh. They appear before you without a head, head and a mask in their arm. Without a head and a mask in their arms. They wave their hands, their hand at you, spinning in circles, their arms hanging in midair, their muscles controlling, their muscles controlling, tremble, their trembling neck. Okay. I am so sad they suddenly become so. Why did you die? They whimpered in pain as tears rolled 
down the back of your hand. You felt you really had died. You you have fallen too long, and the universe has lost order. They began to clap their hands, and everything started to turn to chaos. That's why I want. That is what I want. I want to hug you. Unfortunately, I'm just an equation in the computer. Oh, that seems kind of cool. They scratch their head. This punk has figured it out already. I have to get a screw, screw them to edit their data once more. I have to apologize to you. Really, I lay an ambush aboard your, aboard your train for a whole year just to blow it up with your nameless followers. I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. This disgrace is still pretending. They've already figured out you're not Akavita. You're Akavita, you're alive and well. What interesting opponent. Please play with me more. That's what I want. Grow up and defeat me. They kick the ground and stomp and fade away. You gasp for air as you escape from the torment. Aha, uh -huh, the elation, very elusive one, probably found themselves. This fellow is very noisy and dangerous. Next time, bite your tongue and talk to them more. Thanks for your hard work. Blessing of elation, love to throw surprises, which can be suitable to do character follow-up attacks. Deal additional damage based on the number of enemies hit by all of attacks. Sure. Oop. I have no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death revealed uh, in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Stabby stab! Damage dealt to an enemy can. Repent. 
Let's make it quick. Huh. Honored to meet me. Rules are made to be broken. Last. Time to twirl. Okay. Domain the bus. Uh, crash now or crash later? Freeze! Oop. Move carefully. And then just not. Tough luck running into me. Let's go. Yeah. Oh dear. Oops. Great job. That's it for today. I've tried it with a few of my collaborators. We decided to redouble our efforts. Next time you come back, you'll enjoy our official version of Simulated Universe. What tricks are you trying to pull this time? Pretty much a complete overhaul of an upgrade. Screwlum and Reime uh, did not, didn't think much about it, but Steven is thrilled to pieces. I bet he thinks we're really developing a game here. Simulator Universe will be closed for a while. We want to work on a big overhaul. Uh, next time you play the official. Okay, what's up with him? Relation is a very strange Aeon. They are both confused and clear minded, not as stubborn as other. Aeons, uh, won't stay confined to a single concept. They may have seen right through the nature of the simulator universe. You can go. I'll message you when I'm ready. Uh, are the Aeons really? Did you find them awe-inspiring too? Virtual Aeon? It's not the same as any old AI. Came up with them. Um, Aeons and simulated universe are equivalent to a terminal. Their godhead and wisdom come from what is the value. I basically I have a basic consensus with Screwlum. First, he'll try reducing the partiality. Partiality values of the simulated, even going as far as blocking their self-consciousness, but even, but that's a little dangerous and may attract the relation. If we feel that the method is unfeasible, we'll probably leave this aha to play however they like while isolating them from communicating with other simulated why do I have a feeling that's not a simulated a aha, uh -huh, and that is actually just the real one? Just rolling the shit out of us. <laughs> Who's this Steven? Oh, he's fourth partner, member number 84. Steven Weirdo Lloyd. Guy's a genius with no interest in using his abilities and spends two thirds of his time in his adoptive father's fruit shop. He can't even get himself excited about something as cool as 
the simulated universe. Steven did us a, Steven did us a favor and asked to remain anonymous. He didn't want to make a big splash about it. Perhaps some geniuses wish they weren't one. Okay. You better beg me to come back. If I have to, then I will. By the way, there's a simulated universe index. Go check it out if you're not really interested, then get it. Is it not human nature to collect? Well, <laughs> this game knows way too well. Information blessings. Indexes have... As for the I don't wish you could just uh Claim. Claim. Okay. Simulator Universe Index Cool. Missions. This one. Mass control. It's getting late. Where to now? Oop. Oop, oop, oop. Where am I going? People who buy that think smart water raises oh, their you. Own. Hold on. How much can I pay? Do me again. Are you here for vacation? I heard you need my help. The Majestic Legion, the Chaos in Herda, the Chris oh, we can never get a break from it all. Time to bid farewell to research, retire quietly, and retire to a quiet, leisurely life. Happy and free. Ah, I see you're a lady of culture as well. Well, you cut. You've also come to pick the same spot. It's not often you get a chance to waste time like this. Enjoy it while you can. If not for all the turmoil going on, I would still be locked up in the cabin doing their so-called research. I have made it this far. And with a head full of hair like that, I've made it this far and with a hair head, head full of hair like that, no need to worry about people living better than you, the worst thing you can do, the worst that can happen is we all perish together. <laughs> Look at it this way, if there ever, even if there's a neutral burst in the, the heralds of, yep, uh, it's still such a beautiful sight. I'm so happy to be, <laughs> so happy now to be able to Really waste my own time, my own life. Just so happy. Do you need help with anything? What do you say? I've already shared my joy. You may as well share some. Oh, of course. Uh, take stock various issues in the space station. This includes evalu evaluating areas like the railway. All assets damaged by the Legion in the area, whether mobile or immobile, must be photographed and reported to the IPC. My hands are already full, so why don't you... You lend me one, don't worry, there'll be something in it for you. I'm going to do some stargazing in the meantime. Smart mouth you've got there. 
You just worry about getting those photos, and I'll be waiting for you here humming some tunes. The galaxy is indeed a sight to behold. Ooh, down here. Okay. Summit. Dang. Um, dang. So actually, I think I should. It probably respawned. Yep. Yep. You couldn't have done it without. Okay, that's all of it. Ten, five, seven. Okay, so one treasure in the peak. And this area is actually kind of large. Port. Device is automatically locked. Choosing them. Wrong password if you feel. Please don't attempt to recover password. Verified as a researcher, please retrieve. Our secret security question. Question! Checking. Successful. Please answer the following questions. Who's the biggest influence on your life? Obviously, madam. Correct, impartial, wise, objective, three dimensional, and to the point. Madam Hatcher admires. Oh my god. Please answer the next question. Was the most outstanding. Research result you have achieved on the space station. Uh, None so far. A correct, humble, self-aware answer that shows bravery to admit shortcomings. Madam uh, admires such thoughtful, do dare, dare tell truth. Where is the spare physical security card for this terminal stored? 
in the tank of the magic toilet on the mysterious contain mystery contained in the flying paper crane on Peppy's dog tail. Peppy's dog tail. Wrong and free. Oh. Boo. And the tank got the magical wrong. Please answer the last question. Correct, correct. Sir. <laughs> okay, it's not much of a security question. Find origami crane near terminal to solve for your lack of credentials. Uh huh. Uh huh. Norgami crane lightly hinted. You gently take it apart and fold before you. There are only five minutes left in this world. I only want to choose you and look at you. Your glistening dark brown eyes. Brown black eyes. Uh, would like to shrivel something. Yep. Did I finally disappear in the dust in the wind as a reader? You can't. Huh. Oop. An origami brain that risk falling apart at the slightest touch. You gently take it apart, boards. Sometimes I feel like I have a rainforest inside me. As long as you are nearby, I can hold your palm, the plants, and the rainforests. Why does rain... Does... Why does the rain pour down every time you have to leave from the river? The rainforest breaks its banks and rushes down. Maybe tears up like only someone who remains... I'm single for such a long time for me full of such <laughs> ah, You're merciless demeanor. You mercilessly determine the author's emotional state. Oh my god. Origami crane that perhaps contains the password for this terminal. You gently take it apart for some words to unfold. If they haven't stopped me, I would have parted ways with you. I would have parted with you. I just want to have you as as my companion to live my days off fully. We can laugh together even if we are watching boring soap operas. I really like you, Peppy. <laughs> even <laughs> I even brought some cookies for you to grind your teeth on. Something doesn't seem right. You dimly recall. Oh, Peppy being Arlen's puppy. Ah. Hey, Alder. That was strange, right? Ah! Please don't sneak up behind people, especially when they're concentrating. However, I don't think I've seen you before. Are you a new researcher? Judging by your outfit, you look like you're some big shot. You don't look like... Like you're a big shot from the Department of Ecology anyway. I better not talk about this with you. Rare species, of course, little creatures are so much more interesting than human grown-ups. However, curiosity in your eyes, I don't want to... I don't see that in a lot of grown-up size. Let me know if you have any questions. What's your favorite rare species? Wubba-boos. Although they can be mysterious. Uh, 
Aha. Of course, you might think I'm a can die in our symphony. Dead. Hmm. Congratulations, dear. something. Uh-huh. Cool. Oh, there's one out here. Your Garmin crane doesn't have the power to fly, but you can solve... But it can solve your lack of permissions. You can't wait to unfold it. Ha! Huh, of course, the password's gotta be simple, right? One, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, Again, successful. Congratulations, you have entered the virtual wasteland devoid <laughs> devoid of any documents. Oh my god. Is this are they just These devs are just trolling. Like, this entire game is just one big troll. Nothing. Doop, doop, doop. Oh. Screen displays, scheduling meeting. They're Detailed tables sh below with corresponding times. All the other meeting rooms are fully booked. This is the only free room. You look for a blank spot in your hand. You look for a blank spot in your hand suddenly. Begin to feel itchy. Book a meeting. After selecting your time, an interface pops up. ask you to select participants, you cannot find the exit button. You decide to randomly check a few names on the facility list, not even caring if they're from the, from the same department. After all, interdepartmental research is the future of academia. A row of characters pop up on the screen. Booking complete. Oh my god. Still too soon for the meeting to start. Let's take. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I am just a menace.
have no interest in conflict. Tough luck running into me. This is our chance. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. Truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Single target. Oh, is shit. Time to twirl. Do you know who I am? Okay. <laughs> if I ever see a diamond really? this big, it's all yours. Time to twirl. Clemency never heard Single of Single target. Stop. And it cool. You couldn't have done it without me. Huh. Okay.
What is it that... What gives her that attack boost? That's what it is. For every enemy defeat. God. to use this control panel. Boo! That will become authorized. is meaningless. Without me. Right. And that is seven of seven. Ten of ten, eight of eight. Cool. Okay. That's the time. Mine. Oh, shiny. Ooh, sparkly. I have to admit, she's adorable. A uh, crumpled piece of paper with the presence of various colored handwriting announces its popularity in the main best kept secret of the maintenance department. 
Remember, keep palm collected. Thank you for waiting. Have you tried to turn it off and on again? <laughs> Frequently asked questions, most effective solutions. Motto, if something needs repairing, restarting, if something needs repairing, restart, reinstall, and upgrade. Equipment not responding, restart, then restart again. This will definitely respond, grump. E handwriting. This guy's from the Department of Galactic Geopolitics. Uh, this, there's this guy from the Department of Galactic Geopolitics. I asked him to restart, and it worked a couple. It worked for a couple minutes, then it broke again. So I took a look, and this fellow had over a hundred programs opened at once. My stars. Fine handwriting. The solution is suitable for scenarios where the load is. The solution is suitable for scenarios where the load is too high. What do I do? What do I do if restarting the device doesn't solve it? Unplug the power source, drain the remnant electrical charge, then restart. Keep an eye on this researchers when. <laughs> Keep an eye on those researchers when draining electrical charge. Some of them get handsy. Don't ask me how I found out. I don't have to because you just told me. Uh, consistent black screen issue. Did they plug the device into the power source? If not, try charging the device or charge or change a new Who won? Fine handwriting. I was helping somebody from Insight check their equipment yesterday, and they insisted the screen malfunctioned. It was later determined the hardware was normal, and only and the only thing is they didn't plug into a power source. And the only thing is they didn't plug into a power source. Into the power source. Blah, 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 blah. I hope everyone in this apartment will take the. This as a learning experience, weak handwriting to add on after checking if it's plugged in. Don't protect don't forget to ask if they switched it on. What do I do if my data is missing? There's an automatic backup copy at the terminal. Check the terminals before jumping to conclusions. Note accessing data with higher permission levels needs to be authorized by a lead researcher. Please apply for authorization before accessing. Ugh. RIP those, uh, IT guys. Also, I feel like uh, some of them had experience. Some, some of the. What? Standing upright in the middle of the room is. A, Unremarkable, uh, household object? It looks so out of place, you start to suspect you might have taken a wrong turn somewhere. There's a note stuck to the ceramic surface. Uh, adult or to door to a new world, loan to blank at the Department of Implemented Arts for Experiments. Non-research personnel should not touch this object. There is also a warning posted near a particular button. The department is not responsible for any consequences from unauthorized persons sitting down in bars and flush. It's not so much warning, but just... <laughs> well, sit down and flush. You sit down on a door to a new world as soon as you press the flush button. You start to feel a strange suction. Uh... Who the hell are you? Uh... Scared the heck out of me. Have you seen a toilet bowl around here? Toilet bowl? What? What toilet bowl? This isn't a restaurant. Hang on. What's this? 
He just wanted to slack off for a while, but why are all these people popping out in this toilet? Not this again. Popping out of nowhere? Uh, yeah, just like you did now. Right now. How do I put it? This place was once my private area. Whenever experiments wouldn't go my way, I'd come here for a little break. But recently, I kept running into weird things. Like, when I was daydreaming, I heard someone... I... I'd sometimes hear startled cries. Oh yeah, and always the sound of flushing water. <laughs> I got so confused, I wasn't in the restroom. So how did this flush in the toilet bowl just popped? Okay. Uh, yep. This is my private rest area. If you don't mind, could I please ask you to leave for a bit? I don't... Press the... Use the ha. Ah. Yes. Oh my god. After a period of uncomfortable dizziness, you were transported to the master control zone by door to a new world. No magnificent adventure greets you, but you're okay with this level of mundane. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Consistent with contornisms. Uh, huh. Not available. Public time being. Research and notes. I stuck my head in this thing. But why won't I go? Why did I not end up in the new world? Name omitted. Department of Galactic Geography. Researcher in the comments above, you don't seem very sharp. You don't. You don't put your head inside. You should be sitting on it and flush. Can I, one more time? No. Game. Complete. No. Okay. Uh, down here that's redeemable
Okay. Buttons, please. Help her here. Ah, uh, we're back here. Okay, yeah. Yep, and it's... Okay, part of me really wants to see... I highly doubt it, but... Not very safe. Huh. Doop, doop. I nothing to pick up, nobody to talk to. replied in the group chat when the group notice is updated you have to reply with received there's so many people replying in the chat with received that the key message gets overwritten people who don't they put there's so many people replying in the chat with received that the key message gets overwritten people don't who don't stay glued to the chat risk missing out. Just keep our... Just keep our text threads going at a high intensity and you won't miss out. And you won't miss out, will you? Uh, Alright, received. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so brilliant. did I do? You're always the first one <laughs> charging battle. Is that so? Well, I am the train's guard. I suppose it's just instinct. I think you're not bad yourself. I didn't think you were If you're referring to what I think about you joining the Astral Express, you're overthinking it. My position is simple. It doesn't matter to me. I suggest you ignore my opinions and make your own choice. You don't seem like someone who likes Being on the Express isn't exactly the same as traveling or adventuring. The Astral Express symbolizes trailblazing. Mm. You understand? Trailblazing implies the unknown, be it unknown risks or unknown rewards. In my opinion, the unknown is no more terrifying than the known. In fact, the unknown signifies something we can control and change. I'm a little Don't hesitant. use hesitation as an excuse. If you hesitate for too long, your original way of thinking will eventually cease to exist. Okay. I think things over. Sure. 
Okay. Location. Go back here. Alert. It's getting late. Where to now? We meet again. I have pictures. Let's see what you wanted. Well, strictly speaking, the express isn't part of the space station. Hey, you're one of the express folk, right? I'll do you a favor and add damn it. Broken robot. Streamlined body. Silver. Okay. Is this the robot that asked? Asta ordered. I have to admit, she has great time. Are these enough? More or less. I put it on the ledger. You can look now. Uh. Done yet? Don't just nose around. There are only a few lines that concern you. Uh, the <laughs> Shichi Megascope? Yes, even though it only got slightly bumped in the corner, it still counts as damage. In any case, the IPC will reimburse us for everything. With thousands of things listed. With the thousands of things listed here, who's going to know the difference unless they check everyone? I imagine they might. Okay, sort out ledger submission for later. You should go get some rest. Yep, I... all I have left is that. Okay, can I buy? Yes. Affirm. Doop. Doop. Attacking enemies with physical weakness restores. Ooh! Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, being able to uh, heal even just a little bit. Memory bubble unable to communicate. What? Bubbles floating in the air with a colorful glowing glow glide on their surface. For some reason they form an image that seems to carry a profound meaning. You are sure you saw a red sun descending on a snowy mountain's girl in a robe falling under the under the tip of, of a sword, and you heard someone laughing softly. Everything is real. Touch. You extend your arm, and fingertip stops extremely close to the bubble, but nothing happens. Perhaps you should ask more from someone who knows about. Huh. Touch. Wait, no. Okay, that that is uh, uh who 
would know about bubbles. Doop, doop, doop. Oh. Classification. Touch. Suddenly, just bubbles. Is this cute pet? Okay, also, there is stuff further down that I want to get. How do I? How do I get down there? Oh, I think, uh, conference room are so noisy that you can't even hear what anyone's saying. The fact that everyone's still waiting to meet up in such a dangerous place is a glowing endorsement for your department. So your solution is... So your solution is no way appropriate for our department. You never even give a single thought of our concerns. Since you know so much, then oh, do you have a plan that is suitable? We're already at version 12 of the plan. Do you really think it's my fault or are we, sp or are we supposed to ignore all your previous poor suggestions? What are, what are we going to do about it now? Egg custard? What do you need egg custard for? I revised for it next week. I'll definitely revise. You know what I think? Endless revision, doing the same work over and over again is the biggest failure of the research process. What are you looking at me for? The revision business wasn't my idea. There's no need to keep listening. There's no need to keep listening to this debate and go back and forth because the key mediator is missing and you realize that the organizer of the meeting assumes this responsibility. You stride forward and <laughs> ultimate impromptu speech. I think version 1 is quite satisfactory. All of you can see for yourselves whether or not the argument abates and the correct answer is within grasp, but everyone seems to ignore it precisely by grasping the blind slot that you're so in. Conference room draws quiet, and everyone present is roundly saved by version 1. You also get, the ex get to experience the pleasure of helping others. Is it? Boo. Oh, 
memory bubble. Floating in the air, Dutch. Okay, who, who do I ask about bubble? Who knows bubble? I need to figure that out. I feel like it'd be someone here. It's getting late. Where to now? Oh, thank goodness you're all see it's a pity that we haven't had the chance to talk much. Wait, no. Sure. It's it's that one kid, isn't it? Right. Why did I? Okay. Sure. I'll take it. Hey, you. You happen to know? try another room. You're a little chargon, you feel as if you lost something, but then you think back to the experience of that meeting before, and you've already grasped the essence of meetings. to now. It's weird saying this place actually populate actually populated. Why didn't you why didn't you tell me you've done this experiment before? I could have just asked you. I didn't tell you because you bought second hand because I bought a second hand device a few days ago and blew my budget. I feel like I much in price is the same for somebody who really needs it anyway you've bought it now just put it to use this tournament can't wait that the space station will return to normal soon, yada yada. Okay. 
Have you thought? Oh, okay. How can we alleviate the enslavement of robots? You hit the nail on the head. Okay. Good question, yada yada. You're powerless. Cool. Receive other people's actions. Okay. Find somebody who knows about these. And bubbles. Emily. Touch. Nope. strange bubbles at the space station. Oh, this is a top secret. Outsiders can never know that I own this thing. You must sign a non-disclosure. What's inside? I won't tell you unless you sign. You take the paperwork and pen. Leave your signature. Paper is made from bizarre material and the ink dries up the moment it touches the paper when you move the tip of the pen your heart suddenly flutters bear in mind that this agreement is more than a legally binding contract you must abide by the law of the imaginary which uh, which is above social and natural laws not even the ipc can override it law of the imaginary the law it, it is the law of the universe in the world and the only unbreakable law now that you sign this agreement you can do anything you like with my memory bubble just make sure you are out of sight from inner deeps in the garden of recollection in fact i don't think there would be any trouble memory bubble all right uh as ways to steal memories, others to preserve the great Okay. Garden of Recollection. This is a faction that worship. Okay. Who are the memory keepers? They are members of the garden who travel between worlds, collect crush. Okay. And touch bubbles now. Sure, just touch it with your forehead. Remember to close your eyes or your head will start spinning. Okay. Bubbles floating. In my form. Touch. You approach the bubble. This experience. Your eyes are blur. Black. Larry from sleep. Composite material, the bedroom curtains, blocks out 90% of light. If it were not for your psychic tentacles, you would have a heart. You would have. You would be hard pressed to discern the structure of the spit. Even though you've been living here since 50 years ago. 
Seems like the weather, out weather outside is quite gloomy, thick clouds hang low, the temperatures look. Thick, thick clouds hang low in the sky, and as they gather in royals. The weather is perfect for sleeping. Starting at noon, forecasts show that heavy metal snowfall will continue throughout most of the comet metropolitan area. Residents are advised to avoid outdoors act outdoor just yesterday. Never imagine yourself to be sitting in a lavish grand familiar classical opera, the king's pleasure, if you're not mistaken, it's that's the opera's elegant title. Actually, you could ask Mr. Rainer who's sitting next to you about it after some consideration. You decide not to ask anything since you cannot understand what's going on anyway. After all, you're only here to investigate the family. If everything goes well, you might get your hands on an invitation to the next colony. That's what you're after. Not wanting any trouble, you pretend to be engrossed. Guys. Sir, he asked me. Do you find the opera boring? The fact not deny his omission. Control, not at all. You quickly wait for him. Dismissively, I'm just curious. Watches you silently, asking you to continue. Well, it better be, otherwise, you would have wasted your time. Does the family really exist? Things wait are over. And you know, is that Reiner's voice? I'm sure you heard a noise. Although the instruction is unclear, you still place your hand in the box out of instinct. But why? You are shocked by your reaction next to you. Experience an overwhelming sense of guilt through your body. You're like a criminal waiting for judgment yes you are certain that looks are being leveled at you in trading i see gate gate i see gazes from this brain or the waiter and everyone else in the theater ah. interesting interesting yes one Betrayal. You scan the venue through a 
360 degree wide angle lens with diameter of 20 centimeters thanks to the 46 marble pillars that support the dome ceiling with a diameter of 43 meters and a height of 138 meters the col colonnaded hall uh one night oh my god this the actual number of attendees is 136 when it should be 138 42 of them are your left side the 40 on your right 49 on your ups in in the distance while you're while the last one is giving a speech on stage below not far from ladies and gentlemen this person is speaking at a volume of about 45 decibels now we Proudly present the latest project of Aiden Jacobin School of Mathematics and Science, the Pronto. Pro, pronto. Pro, ex, expert system. Thunderst applause. Pronto is the first supercomputer with a powerful artificial intelligence in our country. It features groundbreaking functions such as natural language and graphics processing and emotional and behavioral recognition and responses the speaker's volume increasing speaker's volume increases to 61 decibels causing discomfort to your pressure sensing membrane as you have been tra trained to Bay human instructions, you do not generate audio signals to express your subjective feelings to the crowd. And coming in and the and in the coming spindle B mission pronto will unprecedentedly Cluster of disordered intelligent pulses pass through area 42 of your silicon chip. Anches in area. You're sick of this unable to pulse. At the moment, someone from the audience stands up front of the person. Person speaks in a tentative, tentative and questioning tone. You are assigned a very important role for the mission. Will your confidence be swayed by the amount of work? Disdainfully, you increase your voltage in area 78, moving the shutter of the solenoid sol uh, Valve with a click, you adjust the monitor, move your mechanical arm to the correct angle. Let me answer you this way, sir. Your diaphragm. The Pronto Expert System is the most reliable artificial intelligence in history. I have never had errors or produced or produced dis sorted information you say I am genuinely impeccable and flawless uh -uh. more bubbles more bubbles more bubbles no Soon. Oh, bubble. For some reason they form their marriage. That's your fate.
You sit upright in the center of a splendid altar. You see many people wearing white robes embroidered with gold threads. While others are standing solemnly around the altar in armor and helmets, there are mummers fill the empty rocky cavern. It is apparent to you that what they are doing, they are summoning them. The noble being who travel travels against time, they intend to treat a mysterious communication channel with Stingriff, not Griff, being craft rich, crafting into a ritual prayer through through a spiritual ritual. They weave threads of they weave the threads of time. I am in an attempt to trace backwards the very last withered leaf on the world tree to the first bud at the beginning. They firmly believe that with that by doing so they will get to meet the noble being. Wonder whether some of them have achieved their goal without without intention and disrespecting their faith. You strongly that time is unidirectional and impossible to go back when you take that into account their creed sounds ridiculous at that moment the w one in right white robes closest to you suddenly looks up and they sense your thoughts anxiety seizes you as you wonder what they will do but then again it was them who invited you to the altar in the first place could it be could this be a cool ritual that involves sacrifices? You tremble in fear and plead for mercy out loudly, but you do not have a mouth. Now you really wish they could read your mind. Person in white robe walks up to you at a steady pace. Oh, please, least treat me humane. Mainly, he wail, and almost make out the cold glint flickering underneath the person's robes. Help, there is no law. Are there no law in order here? You keep your eyes tight shut, you hear rustling sounds of that annoying robe. Being dragged across stone tiles, muffled tap pair of feet, sounds get closer, louder, suddenly become suddenly comes from the abrupt halt somewhere very close to you yet you feel a warm sensation your eyes open to find a person pressing his forehead against your body tears are stirring down his face which obscured by a shadow of the hood The monument is shaking, they have sensed us. He announces at the top of his lungs, soon after sighs of relief come to the crowd. A surge of relief washes over you too, it's great. People here are civilized and <laughs> no one will do anything to a pathetic stone. <gasps> oh. Uh huh. Is that one of the? Is is that a memory of the stone people? Bubbles. Bubble. Bubble. Okay, one here. The atonement. You clamber along the steep slope covered in ice. The icy gale is tirelessly assaulting all beings that dare to 
exist at this height like a sharp blade. Although you are wearing a full set of advanced outdoor equipment prepared by the IPC, you realize your fingers are almost broken because of the cold. You are not bothered by it, as you are very, as you are very clear that this outrageous journey of redemption is about to come to an end. Those uncivilized barbarians have a have admonished you countless times according to the ancient laws of the united tribes of Yerera, anyone who disobeys the noble noblest will be ordered to redeem their sins the wrongdoer will climb mount blah, 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 alone and reach the peak where they must rub a copy of the steel steel Prophetic inscription, if the wrongdoer is pardoned by the inscription, then their name will be cleared in the presence of the chief. Ugh, oh, almost there, the sky is cleared up, the gale is turning into a breeze. With your teeth clenched, you try moving your hypothermia damaged shoulder to swing pickaxe for that one crucial move, finally. Stepping on a long, on the long-awaited ground, you realize you reach the end point. A smile of satisfaction falls up your face without you realizing it. Though it's not as wide as you want it to be because you're sit stiff facial muscle, 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 muscle. Now you need to look for that damn sting. Uh, there's not only frozen. Only a frozen, curled up body can be seen in the vast, snowy landscape. This person... The person is well equipped, and their face is frozen due to cold temperatures. Their eyes, filled with fear, cast their howls of despair at you across millennia of time. Undoubtedly, the frozen person is you. You shock and gasp and cry soundlessly, bitterly, before collapsing on the snow, ramming yourself into the abominable ice sculptures. Then take the mountain. Then the mountain robs you of your consciousness. Ah. Okay. So I now have two ways to go. Let's go in here first. Left safe zone. Not that really matters. Done. Oh. Okay. Let's check back here. There we are. Memory bolt bubble fall of logic. Bubbles are floating in the air with a bubble of the fall of rationality. Your vision is split by long narrow Your vision is split by long narrow old iron bars based on what you feel feel with your fingertips you confirm that the iron bars are part of an exquisite cage. The crown that exclusively belongs to the philosopher king, the, the head of the wreath galaxy. What? You look around and realize that you're an amphitheater. You are very sure that this is the gathering place of the parliament of the philosopher union in is the center of the galaxy, the colonnade, made, uh, 
the contemplar contemplator seats below marble pillars are supposed to be filled with by the most brilliant minds in the galaxy, but are now occupied by countless screaming steel bodies. They raise their metal fist in the air and indignantly and electric currents that too noisy and trilly to imitate common tongue. Eliminate all organic life forms, destroy our Arlius, long live the Emperor. It seems like Arlius is your name. And it matches what you remember. You are well, well aware of what triggered the wrath of the silicon based life forms and why you have become the target of public condemnation. According to the anti organic equation, the philosopher union that rules. The galaxy will certainly be destroyed by the machine empire, as simple as that. They want to humiliate you, the sole representative and leader of all living beings in the galaxy. Although they have wiped out many planets in the galaxy, they are still not satisfied. They convict and punish you according to the laws of philosophy forcing you to drink the poison before they are happy to witness your death the demise and the demise of organic life forms philosopher union and rationality you step forward to get and lift the golden cup that contains lethal poison foreign based life forms remember this you hold your head high and look Thoughts do not fear death. Thoughts will never die. I, Aurelius, watcher in the cage, cool shepherd, and the king of all philosophers hail you all. You raise your arms. You will celebrate your victory under the gaze of this sacred colonnade and will be endowed with true rationality. Your words are drowned out by the maddening Cacophony. You roar, you roar with laughter, and down the cup of poison in one go. Uh, he's actually being logged somewhere. Astari has an owner. The desire to open it is hopelessly strangled in the middle. Your hand react faster than your brain. You don't put the cold surface of the chest you pull. The moment you... Oh my god. Why is this chest not yours? Why is this habitual nature now a sin? How much of the universe is actually within your control? You're about to leave the said place when you know it's researcher watching from the side. You hold back your tears and not leave. 
and nod politely to him as you turn and run. Hang on, were you crying just now? Uh. Sorry, I really couldn't help myself. Mm hmm. As a matter of fact, I understand that feeling. I actually noticed you the first time try to open my. At first, I thought you were Pete. And just now, I never thought I could find someone with the same hobby as mine. I'm the same way. When I see a chest, I go over and open it. <laughs> Seeing as you're a fellow hunter of treasure chest, I s I'll state state your cravings. But these are just my personal clothes. I can't get them to you. I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what I happen to have with me. Is something I collected. Please just take it or pass it across again. <laughs> Okay, and... Pretty much gonna have a thing. Nothing? Nothing. You look like you need work, how about assisting you with a tiny experiment? Storage zone. Okay, it does not look like... Yeah, I don't think they would put one in there. Now watch as I put one in there. Ooh, hey. Put one here, the red hole. Bubbles floating. Today should have been your lucky day, your, depart your department head whose face is always long as a fiddle just raised your IPC writing to P30. You share the news with your mother living in, a in your faraway hometown, her voice sounds excited on the other end of the communication device. You seem to hear her slimy body making a bubbly sound, a special... Physiological, physiological reaction of your Bavero race in the moment of happiness. You in the call and get on your brand new floating motorcycle. This baby cost 18 months of your salary. Although it is pricey, it can soothe the trauma you have suffered at your workplace. You think it's worth its price tag? But it doesn't do much to your pain today. Should you tell the mother your truth that the traditional project department is in fact a place for people to retire in and has no future? With a whimper, you twist the thought, throttle to max, and dash into the aerial exchange of new and, and okay. You like joy, joy riding across the interchange lane. From here, the city looks like tiny flickering candlelights on a mineral birthday cake, easily blown out. The, trouble you, the troubles you face at work all fade away at this moment. The streets are deserted. You briefly look up at the news projected in the sky. 
to find out the latest happenings bustling in the city. Uh, the, the face of the co-prime minister appears on the face of fine new grumble, deciding to focus on the road ahead. Yet it is too late. The instant you return from the cloud clouds to the road, your engine the engine of the floating motorcycle suddenly misfires and plummets to the ground out of your control. You just hope you won't land on Buckingham Buckingham Avenue or you'll be fined an enormous amount. To your relief, there there is only an old shopping street with a few pedestrians nearby. And your landing has hurt no one. Elderly couples who are happily chatting suffer a fright, but as soon as they realize you are nothing but a puddle of slime, they immediately clink their glasses together again in happiness. I can't believe this, you bubble. As you stare at the motorcycle reduced to a pile of burning wreckage, not knowing what to do, you have no idea how far you are from your condo. You can only look up at the sky and ask advice from the stars. But you hear the stars saying, in the sky saying, even the poorest worker in East New London, Londinium, can't help but feel proud wealth of we jointly he can't help but feel the proud proud of the wealth we jointly own with the IPC. Uh. of wings. Touch. Fresh bubble.
You're surprised you are stuck in a room. Stuck in a dark, cramped room. The air is thick and dank. Mixed with the putrid scene unique to all day rotten wood. Uh, you want to. You want to turn around to exercise your tight joints, but you find yourself unable to move. Not only this, not only is there no space for you, but your muscles and tendons are also stiff and trembling out of abject fear. It is because you can clearly hear them, these mot multitude Multitudes of cursed creatures sniffing around outside this locked wooden box. There is serrated feelers are impatiently thrashing around, lashing it out at everything outside of your narrow confines. You can hear them dashing madly around the room. You can hear them. You can hear the constant movements of their iron hooks, limbs armored like a purpose, producing a piercing noise that drives that drives one to insanity. Of course, you know these despic these despicable anthropo anthropods have no intellect to communicate with you. Their disgusting mouthpieces, dripping with sticky saliva, should only should only be used for chewing and eating. But you're sure you hear something? They are de definitely whispering something, but their mouthpieces. No, those darn mouthpieces should not be able to make that kind of sound. Could the sound be coming from their filthy wings covered in with an oily film? You listen intently. Yes, the disgusting wings are flapping in the air as they repeatedly utter that cursed name in a shrill hor hoarse hiss. What? Okay. Um. Apparently. Okay. Sure. Uh. There's got to be one in here, right? Oh, this is the rating pistol that they were talking about in the beginning. Eighty-four points. Is it bashing things on weight? Is it basing things on weight? I don't think so. Just a number. Isn't it zero to one hundred? Well, up to the heart. Uh, joy filtration. Work have about assisting me with a tiny little experiment. Okay, nothing else in here. Doop, doop. Also, thank you, game, for that leg. Check over here. 
no, 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 you're only just... The appearance of a forehead thermometer, the writing pistol, slightly closed eye on it, now rapidly spin around a few times ag antagonistically as you pick it up. Ordinary item, use it on ordinary items with the beep. You'll see that Pom Pom has one human code nine points lap last. Huh. March 7th can't be <laughs> oh. rated every time the researcher aboard the space station has their own theory study on the related studies department of something new entry silver worth 100 points I know Himiko, but which department is Pom Pom from? Those with they only get one point, and who, who's March 7th? These are all written by a research, lead researcher Asta might be someone she knows. Wait, how did the garble text get into this file? Terminal get infected by some virus again? Huh. It's not going to just let me wear it the entire time now. Yep. End, wait, what? End of a banquet. You, you can see a long table stretching out more than 10 meters, traversing the entirety of the long, narrow hall. You are holding a beautiful set of cutlery, cutlery in your hands. With their shiny silver, silvery, 
surface is still dripping from the delicious sauce. All types of gourmet food imaginable are served to you first. Uh, you turn to the left side of the table. Theodric, who sits nearest you, is the eldest son of the family and a most valiant soldier. Without him, you can't imagine how this kingdom could have survived the relentless attacks of, from the Legion. Next to Theodric is Clodomir, your second son, but the ruler of the largest stellar space. Silent and barren planets where people fear to tread are transformed into flourishing places under his leadership. You have high hopes for him as he is the most crafty among your children. Then you look to the right side of the table, Holden being your eldest daughter and your favorite. She is a fearless warrior with a with flaming red curls in her hair, generals in neighboring galaxies fearfully call her the Kingdom's Flame. Next to her is Clodinia, who never reveals her face in public, with the brightest mind in, with the brightest mind in the kingdom, she carefully manages from the shadows of, of all all the planets under the kingdom's rules, she is your most competent advisor. If, if they were here, the banquet would be quite a lively and joyful occasion, but now there is nothing but silence in this run-down hall. You can only close your eyes as you put a chunk of delectable Oreo beef in your mouth. Dumb mouth, frowning in memories. You remember Theodric has passed away not long ago, and with one of your kingdom's starships, you remember Vladimir has already betrayed you. He exchanged his humanity and millions of lives with the Legion for his own survival. And you think about Hildebrand and Clarida, you realize the banquet is coming to an end. Indeed, the deadline handed to you down by that Lord Ravager is fast approaching. My lord, should we surrender to them? Your attendant presents you with this despicable warning notice. It is time to end this. You are about to pick up your pen. Hordes of Void Rangers break into the doors and pour into the hall. Okay. So now go up. Actually, kind of too. Let's talk about it. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. This big diamond, it's all yours. Time to twirl. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Oh, nonsense. Sure they do. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Without me. Uh, so shoot. Okay, 
do that. Do -do -do -do. That. Yeah, I can just, okay. And it was not worth it. Yay! Doop 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 doop. how to quickly find information on such a cluttered desktop. Perhaps none of the electrical devices on the space station have useful information for the research. Okay. Bubbles are floating in the air. Complete disappearance. The folklore team of the Intelligentsia Guild stationed on the planet has not replied. But your aircraft is running out of fuel. We must land now, the pilot announces through the communication channel. The dashboard shows your altitude has been decreasing rapidly. Dropping to a three-digit figure, the view outside has changed from wispy clouds to the roofs of exquisite houses, confirming the descent is taking place. Still no signals detected? Your captain sounds anxious. In your view, people from the guild are swindlers who hoodwink others under the guise of knowledge. You do not understand why the captain is so worried. All frequency ban bl bands are blocked. All frequency bands are blocked just like a week ago. Nerd speaks his usual flat tone. Also, no heat emission of living organisms are detected in the residential areas, or rather anywhere. In case you don't understand what this means, I'm saying all living organisms on the surface of this planet have evaporated. He adds, pushing his glasses upwards. The nerd's attitude always gets on your nerves, but you can't. But still, you can't help but feel incredible. Uh, all living organisms on this planet have vanished. Is that even possible? Actually, it might. After all, these humanoid fungi are pious believers in of that bizarre fate. Perhaps their god has brought them all to another place. While being absorbed in your thoughts, you are jolted back to reality by a violent shudder from the bottom of the aircraft. It seems you have landed. Now you need to look for the rascals from the guild and get out of here. After picking up your ray gun, you hop out. After the captain, you and the rest of the you and the rest enter a building and exit again. The search lasts a long time, but your confusion is not answered. As the nerd puts it, all life activities on the planet have creepily come to an abrupt halt. Food left on plate hasn't rotten yet. Unattended fireplaces in buildings on what on 
Unattended fireplaces set buildings on fire, which later put out by rain. Pins drop on the floor due to gravity, and their ink stain the entire room. The only thing unaffected is the integral. It's an intricate coat of arms that constantly watches over everything created by the fungi civilization from every corner of the world. Both sides everywhere. Of the street inside closets on flags and niches, it's it is everywhere. It's always stifling hot on the Abilene, Abilene Express every day. You are squeezed shoulder to shoulder with various mechanical bodies as you commute home. Commute home from work at, as if you are one of those can, those cans of timberfish stuffed in your fridge, or a. Uh, or a fish inside the cans itself. You are using cloudy prosthetic. You're using the cloudy prosthetic eye at the back of your head to peep at a blonde woman, or more precisely, a blonde female. The blonde female robot behind you. You start your phone screen, happily browsing her romantic life that reads like a soap opera. The distance is. This distance is extremely delicate. You consider yourself as someone who walks on the edge of morality. Out of all the remaining shreds of your consciousness, you deliberately move your frontal vision away. That's totally not because it's easier to peep this way. Totally not. You wonder whether she is a colleague from your department, you have no idea, but you read enjoying you enjoy reading about her interactions and schemes with her 18 lovers. Between you and her, you're not sure who is more guilty, but you always have a knack for finding excuses to prove your innocence. Work hard, work is hard, life is dull, and you don't have enough Abilene coins to buy tickets with a seat that is what you've always used that is what you've always used to excuse yourself I wouldn't behave like this if I could have or to take a floating cab every day anyway in the IPC it's the IPC's fault for carrying out the so-called trade expansion your indigent but you do not really understand what trade expansion means. You just remember the term is often mentioned by your supervisor. Whoever wants to be a saint can be one. You ain't gonna be one unless the act gives you money. You refocus your gaze on the constantly refreshing phone screen. She is typing. You concentrate and read the message. The guy next to me is the 19th. You can feel... Oh.
Okay, well now I have pizza. You feel sharp temperature. You feel a sharp temperature and you feel a sharp rise in the temperature of your brain computer. You roll your prosthetic eye around to check your surroundings, but not no one is around you. Who's the 19th? You've been caught. Is there a police patrolling? Is there a police patrolling? Or regardless of the outcome, you dare not continue your train of thought. You realize you are timider than you imagine yourself to be. And the electronic components in your body are also kicking off chemical reactions from the catalytic heat. You feel dizzy. Ooh. The details tell me about capability. Okay. Uh, My mask. Cabinet is absolutely bare with a light cone once stored gone. You remember Alan asking. Turn. Bid farewell to it with closed eyes. Huh. The path ahead. Your path ahead will be full of companions. What is one measly light cone worth to you? Oh my, young lady, did you just put a light cone back into the shelter? Your eyesight really does get terrible in old age. Tell this old one. Tell this old one what kind of light cone did you put in it? Was it a jewel? Was it a King's turn. What? None of them? Not bad, not bad. The salt one knew you had it in you. Honesty and candor are your best virtues, naturally. A reward is honored, but this. Old studded arrowhead light cone is too mundane. And this is tacky. Uh, despite my old age, you... so why don't I return the original light cone to you? That's what you want, isn't it? Aw, how sweet. In this grand universe, moral standards are materialized into physical forms. Pass ah. the test of integrity set up by a mysterious researcher. Research, 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 research. Nothing else? No? Okay. Doop, doop, doop. Nothing in here. Sneaky love. Cautious love. Hmm. 
You can't move, but your hands are staked onto the ugly and massive portrait. Your body is hanging in mid-air, dragged towards the ground by gravity, yet unable to fall. Below is a pile of firewood, firewood soaked in oil, and the excruciating pain is numbing. You are accused of leading a rebellion and desecrating the god of beauty and Dure, Dure, who bestowed our minds and senses, who bestowed our minds and senses upon us as blessings. Man sitting on the high seat hotly states, "Do you have any objections?" You spit and get rid of the bloody broken tooth stuck in your throat. And and Dure, Dure, you know this. You know very well where this name, where that name is derived from. It's Idril, that hideous being. People fantastically worship them, and are grateful for their gifts. But these people really believe in the absolute beauty of the world, how foolish, nothing is perfect, and you don't understand that better than anyone else. You think of Dr. Howell and how you used to sneak looks at his face. You, rem you reminisce about how at the field, 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 Oh my god, that is way too hard to say. With dandelions, after class, he quizzes you on which Harlow sticks reach reaches uh parody Oh my god, these words. That would be when satellites close okay. You forgot about the date, you had no idea that Harlow Six was in fact closest to Owen on that day and the satellite's thermal radiation made your cheeks burn red. Meanwhile, Dr. Hal continued to tell you about the research at the Astral Ecology School. You cannot think of research, instead you listen to the sound produced when his skin brushed the fabric of his shirt and tried to compose a song with it later. And tried to compose a song with it. Later, you started observing the creases on his shirt formed by the shape of his muscular body. You dare not speak. Well, you carefully took in every detail about, about him. Falling in love with the genius made you feel even dumber. <laughs> Your feelings for him lasted until the day Dr. Hal announced it, the love of his life. On that day, he vowed to spend the rest of his life praising the past, present, and future of Anne Dury. Then he disappeared disappeared is not has not been heard from since since that day you understand everything you understand about beauty has turned to ash flames have rise from below and devour you in an instant Is there something keeping track of all these? Mm-hmm. 
couple. Oh, okay. Dip, dip. Don't mind me just playing with one hand. That is pizza. Bubble feast on a buffet. Touch. You move through a nebula made of numerous ionized gases. Your long journey has made you. It's made your digestive cavity feel upset. You desperately want to fill it with something, anything. You devour. You've devoured so many interesting items, a chunk of steel that shoots bright gas currents, a massive ball of fire trapped in a cage of iron, a chunky rock debris disc, but you've grown tired of eating all that. All you want is something tastier and more of it. You flail your tentacles restlessly. Not being able to eat makes you feel <laughs> so hangry. There must be something tasty around this nebula, right? You feel a little annoyed as you circle about at in a high speed particle stream in misery. Ugh, we're done. All of a sudden your sentry orb picks up some seems to pick up something. Something fragrant, a scent that draws you in. What could it be? Is is it something delicious? The filaments in your stomach tremble with excitement. You can't wait anymore. You race off to the source of the aroma. Countless tubes and feeders swinging, swinging about violently. You have not had this kind of feeling. You haven't had this kind of feeling in forever. A primitive impulse shoots into your in, endo. Endoderm, and from your peripheral nervous system, it's thirst and hunger. The scent grows more intense. You can't resist resist the urge to extend your umbrella of a body as you throw as you throw your whole being into this dazzling aroma. You're so close, so close. It is time for a fe grand feast. What comes into your vision is a massive planet. It is truly a big, big celestial body. You're still young enough. You're still young, so you can never imagine a planet so big. You previously assumed that there's that they were all small enough for you to swallow whole. Yet this planet is easily three size the size, three times the size of your body. You wonder whether your digestive cavity could fit it. How many days would it take to consume the whole planet? Your worries slip away before long. After all, you have plenty of time. You're the youngest in your amoeba slime mold tribe. You have far more days ahead of you than behind. You realize that you can eat for as many days as you like, eating is your destiny. With this in mind, you happily burrow into the viscous atmosphere made of hydrogen and helium. You start looking for a place to begin your meal. What sort of... Do you want to taste scorching molten core first? Or the cool clouds of ammonia? It's a buffet of planetary proportions. Okay, that just made me hungry. <laughs> nope, come on. Uh, pizza. 
Scheiße. Memory bubble, cute pet. You approach the bubble. You feel a sense of unease that pervades the air. You hear from others, mostly from Ader, the one person on the team who always gets the latest news that the Emperor has dispatched a special force to the construction site. The reason for this development remains unknown. I heard they already arrived at dock number one. Ader seems on edge as he insistently rubs his hands against the left ball in his arms. He had a he had a creature named Fluffies. To be honest, <laughs> it isn't the most creative name. These fluff balls are beloved among the construction team. So much so that they pra that practically every member has one. Of course, you do too. You named yours Big O because it's orange. Real creative names. Honestly, better than mine. Better than my kind of names. Your pet currently snoring away on your shoulder. You lovingly rub what you assume is most likely your head. Like always, this brings you a bit of comfort. If you didn't have this little pet, you wouldn't be able to stand the harsh construction environment and the monotony of work in life. So I've heard something. So, I've heard something. Keep in mind, I don't know for sure. Adder says, starts to say, you think he's going to... You, you think he is well on his way on pulling out all, all of Fluffy's hurt. The Emperor probably knows about the Fluffies. It's quite likely that the Special Force is here to exterminate them. You can't even fathom it. Look how cute Big O is! 
Can anyone resist petting its delightfully soft fur, or listening to its satisfying purring? If you think about it, they are clearly docile creatures. Why exterminate them? Ah, you're super... You're super... Ah, your supervisor buries his head in his fluff ball and takes a big gulp of air. That decrepit old emperor. Firstly, he sends us to make his tomb at this godforsaken place, and now we can't even have pets? Ridiculous. The den. Hell. The dim dormitory falls silent for a moment. You look at your two co co-workers, then look out the window. You see the mechanical eye that remains suspended in the air, creating a repul repressive atmosphere with its feeble light. You, s you all sigh together as if on cue. Big O stirs on your shoulders. It seems to have woken up, likely because of the hurried footsteps outside the dormitory. They're here, urges, Adder urges you, all of you, to move fast. His throat seems to tremble as he speaks. Hurry, hide them. Adder's words are abruptly cut off. Just as you start worrying, you turn around and you faintly make out a giant hairy mouth dripping with blood in the darkness. Oh. Heh <laughs> uh. Yeah, so it turns out the Flappies aren't, uh, quite so, uh, friendly.
bitch, I need my pizza. Continuing to eat my pizza.
Okay. Food has been eaten. Plus calcification. What did they say? You feel... What did they say? You feel bored to death. You fiddle with the adhesive explosive charge in your hand. These old geezers still aren't giving us... Still aren't going to give us the green light to open fire. You pull the pin on the explosive only to put it in a few seconds before the countdown ends. The newbie sitting next to you... You seems like she isn't used to your dangerous antics. She appears to be somewhat terrified. That's right, Professor. They worry that the high temperatures produced by the explosion will activate the virus, she gulps. You pout. Then why did they get us to come here? You originally wanted to scold them, but now... You originally wanted to scold them, but now you're at a loss for words. These scaredy cats. After a while, you angrily pick up the report next to you and read it. Cells become cancerous, soft tissues calcify. You initially had assumed that these old foggies were, on were only capable of churning out useless garbage, but re <laughs> But this report is actually interesting. Unfortunately, reading, re reading reports can't cannot calm your anxious heart. You sigh, lift your head. You look at the pallid ruins in the distance. You analyze. Your analysis revealed revealed that these twisted ruins, which look like bone spurs, have a history that goes as far back. That goes back 400 amber eras. Despite its age, it mysteriously appeared as if it were brand new, just as just how it would just how it would have had look. Mysterious, despite its age, it mis. It mysteriously appears as a brand new, just as it would have looked 400 a AEs ago. You are confounded by the enigma. You are a seasoned armed archaeologist. You long to unravel all historical. Eh, yet, they're holding you back from using your school's tradition. You should have... You should be blowing a hole into the surface of this bone spur and carry it... and carrying off valuable artifacts. The fact that they won't permit it makes you seethe with anger. But you choose to compromise. You recognize that their concerns are not groundless. You cannot pay for this with your life, you settle, you can't pay for this with your life. You settle for doing things the old way, you work to live, not live to work. You smack your lips in anticipation and start to plan your next steps. You don't, you don't think for long, a loud voice breaks. So you're trying to thought, hey boss, we found something good, it's Rowan, but what's he saying? You've clearly told him to sit still and wait for further instructions. Oh no, you suddenly realize something. You want to stop him, only to discover that you can't speak. Beyond a shadow of the doubt, you're experiencing rapid petrification from inside out. Just like these familiar... Just like these... Just like those familiar looking yet terrifying bone sculptures in front of you. Oh, great. Mm 
I'm here, no, I'm here. Uh huh. Wee. Hey. Okay. Huh. Last time I appeared over there. Oh, hey, there's a thing. As a note, there's a thing down here. I also don't remember if there's a thing in there. I'm gonna go look, see if there's a thing in there. That thing, get the one that I just saw. I think that should be all of them. Hopefully. If not. Oh, uh, well. Okay. Doop 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 doop. Unable to communicate. Touch. In your view, is in your view is a stretch of sticky, unruly, unattractive red mud. Some part of it is even squirming. It occurs to you that this is that is a group of claymen with big heads and short legs. They are the true rulers of the, of the planet of Alas. Cal Cal uh, oh, this place seems to be the Royal Council Chamber of Claymen. You had forgotten why you were attending the meeting, but you know it is a golden opportunity to cry out the precious minerals from the bellies of the claimant. The meeting room reverberates with muffled, gobbled noises and sounds like the whines of despair made by a person, made by a person drowning in a swamp as mud slowly blocks off their airway. This is the claimant's, this is the claimant race language, but you can't understand a word of it. You have, you have yet to implant a syn synthesia beacon. The meeting is boring you to tears on Callus. Anyone can speak their mind. The interpreter relays to you. The queen, the clay queen, gazes at you, and you wonder where the queen, queen's eyes are. This synthesia. The sensitive interpreter says, "This mission rests upon your shoulders. Together, we will defeat. We will defend Alice from calamity that is the wet season." The Clay King is overcome with emotion. Meanwhile, you stare out the window, racking your brain as you ponder what kind of texture meat. What? what kind of texture the meat of clay sheep would have. By the stars, you couldn't take it anymore. Listen to, listening to the prattling of, of the talent motivation department's top brass would be more interesting than this muck. You couldn't resist the urge to roll your eyes, but suddenly you notice the king is staring directly at you. Thankfully, the king just wants to invite you, a rare earth management consultant from the IC IPC, to speak up, speak on the stage. Problem? You're just an outsider. What could you possibly know about the future of Kalas? Uh, you've got it. You roll your dry, dry eyeballs slyly. And swiftly, then flash the king a standard get, get dazzling smile. You take the stage and release an unending waterfall of sounds in what you imagine their language to be. The crowd claim in cry as they hear you speak. You worry they might dissolve into a puddle of their own hope and tears. You 
laugh and shrug toward the interpreter as you say the plant this plant does not have a shred of hope because Clayman won't make it past the wet season. He says there is so much He says that there is so much hope for Callus. The interpreter says as he nervous that this is a common language universalism, you understand. By joining the IPC and being united, there will be no communication barriers. Digestion. Touch. You're pretty sure Dr. Darville has gone crazy. You glance at her hunched, frail, and drunken husk of a body. She silently stares at you through her terrifying thick lenses. These scientists never know how to read the air. All you want right now is to throw this report containing the ravings of a mad scientist into a furnace and send her packing. You never want to hear the word organism again. This is fact. Somebody, anybody, help. This dry... Those dry, infuriating lips are trembling again. We live in a time that... We live within the body of an enormous mammal located most likely in its intestines. I have had it. You slam your hands against the desk. The woman clearly... Hum this woman is clearly humiliating you. And the entire du dukedom of De Denisova. Ugh, oh, these names. However, she merely adjusts her gla glasses, completely unfazed by the rage within you that is threatening to explode. Your Highness. Your Highness, we have. You have. Have you ever considered why acid mist have been increasingly common recently? She asked coarsely. We must be com we must completely ban the use of diesel engines. The exhaust fumes of these engines release that these engines release are coming causing significant irritation in the creature's intestines which can lead to an increased secretion of intestinal juices. Complete ban? You gasp. Her proposal is easier said than done. The fallout from such a ban would nosedive the nation's finances into the red. What's the big deal with acid mist? As long as the factories continue ahead at full power and churn out more protective equipment, <laughs> ah, the cure would generate serious revenue. Couldn't help but feel pleased at the idea. As a smile crosses your face, the doctor, however, seems to misread that smile. She seems to view as it view it as you are agreeing with her proposal and starts to talk again. There's also the earthquakes, she clears her throat. In the past month, Denzava has had three seismic events. This means that the increased activity within... This means there is increased in activity in the host intestines. Detrimental activity. Time to end this conversation. You have no more interest in listening to our allusions to parasites and excrement. As you are about to order her to leave, you feel the hall sway violently. The ceiling begins to collapse. This is what I wanted to discuss next, she said in a voice as calm as ever. <laughs> we predict there will be a fourth earthquake, a regurgitation at an unprecedented scale. 
will be completely dissolved by its stomach acid. No one will survive. Beautiful. Okay, I want to know now. Are there... Sensory socialization. Okay. Well, noted. How many? Assuming as part of memories we share. For the entrance of... Okay. I don't think I got that one. Uh, teleport here. Wanna go take some pictures? There we go. I think this will be the last one. Touch. 
Staring at the woman, surreal face concealed under a white under the wide brim of her hood, you can hardly believe the bizarre stories she has just told. Gods really exist and they are elevated from mo mortals. Gods aren't even aren't almighty, but each hold, holds different authorities and walks different road. roads. This is too ridiculous. She even claims to be some sort of emanator and mirror holder. The woman nods. It's normal for you to be confused, she said in a calm, cold tone, as, as she can see through you. The woman then reaches underneath her silk cloak with her slender fingers and takes out a gleaming sharp object. Dazzled by the glow, you try to take a closer look, only distracted by the woman's blood skin. This is the mirror of transistance. Look at look at them. This is what the Aeon look like. Her voice remains frosty. You stare into the mirror as you get as curiosity gets the better of you. Instead of your reflection, you see a magnificent sculpture. The sculpture shatters from top to bottom as if struck by lightning. It splits, splits vertically into halves and separates and the separate separated parts fall independently. The left part of the sculpture is a mass, muscular man while on the right is a gorgeous woman. Each part has two arms extended towards each other. They support and up, uplift each other but also hold a carving knife each as if they're as if they are crafting each other the t hair twisting and tangling intertwined body bodies look like a spiral made of stone yet they are joined together from the waist down you are mesmerized and fascinated by the remarkably gorgeous and bizarre posture Suddenly, your gaze meets the eyes of the being in the mirror. Suddenly, you quickly withdraw yourself from the extraordinary experience. So this is your god? Yeah, I, you ask. No, this beauty... This is what beauty in its purest form looks like in your perception. Your hand... Her hands stroke the mirror. This is what they are. Damn it! of Sir Master Controls. Did I get that? Your I don't know if there's actually a way to keep track. It's the main issue.
Wait, medical office base. There was one in there. Did I not? Doop 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 doop. God. Ripped hands. Bubbles are floating in the air, yada 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 yada. Her neurons are connected to the bones of Mecha number 16's arms. The experience has always been uncomfortable. You turn around, ready to complain to your partner, only to find Leia is start staring at you. Is also staring at you. No words necessary. She smiles, then raise her, raises her arms. You sense the reaction in your forearm, like a marionette. You're controlled by invisible. Like a marionette, you're controlled by. Invisible strings. You try to resist, but it hurts. At last, you lift your arm. The pain lessens as expected. You don't like being controlled by me in this way. She snickers with her head crooked. Blinking her eyes, she sticks up her index fingers and middle fingers and rests both hands on her head, making them look like a pair of rabbit ears. You are forced to do the same and feel embarrassed by it. You know she is making fun of you. Do you not read my mind? You deliberately crease your forehead and quickly spin around to avoid meeting her eyes. This is not something you are used to doing. Leia chuckles before inching her face closer. Number 16 isn't capable of that. You can feel her warm breath caressing the back of your neck. Are you blushing? Come on, you're a girl too. You decide to steer the conversation clear of this op awkward topic. What's our mission this time? You grit your teeth, feeling as feeling as though there are burning coals in your mouth. Your body is on fire. Your voice is cracked. Catch that star. She looks up at the sky. She looks up at the light of the star that glides downward outside of the cockpit and falls into the ocean, where it is crushed by waves. You let out a mu muffled grunt. Unable to figure out why she appears so calm. You're scared. She extends your her arm in your direction, but your arm does not move in response. It seems like she cut off the connection. While you're deep in thought, she beckons out She beckons over you. Come on, she invites you in a serene tone. Let's do it like the old days. You reach out your hand silently, she gently laces your fingers together and holds your hand in a tight grip as usual. She is strong despite her slender small body. The stars are sparkling on the ocean outside the cockpit. Instinctively, you tighten your hold on Leia's hand to prevent starlight from slipping through your fingers. Huh. That's still not it. Okay. Time. 
Yeah, definitely read that. Uh, Cheese! Phone, total operation, unable to communicate. Yep, yep. Splendid plan names. What's this? section of the master control. Hold on, wait. What if that's lower left of the bottom right section? Okay. So in there? Wanna go take some pictures? Next, he stares out the porthole like a sparkling, at a sparkling jade-like object hovering in boundless space. How many times has the star car rise happened? Um, let's see. Holding a space pin in your small palm, you trace. Pardon. At the form. From top to bottom with. And 27 times, I guess? You murder? You mu murder? Mutter? Yes, 27 times. You lick your lips. Actually, you're not quite literate yet. Another system month has passed, he sighs. When... When do you think we can go back? There is no one left on planetary surface to guide our landing. We can't even make it to the atmosphere, you touch your whiskers. If only they could look at the plant planet from this angle, the then the tragedy might not have happened. Look at her. This used to be our home, our past. Everybody, including the people you love and know, stayed there. People were originally bound to spend their lives there, regardless of who they are. All of your emotions, religions, ideologies, all the hunters, robbers, kings, and peasants, heroes and cowards, parents and their children, everything we see, hear, think, and feel on this dark spot, a speck of dust floating in the ray burst and the sparkle of stars, a dark spot that radiates a feeble green glow. Look at her, you lift your head. How dare those ancient politicians assume this dark spot to be the center of the world, and therefore meant they had the power to control the universe. Could there be any more could there be anything more ridiculous than that? Wow, he stares at you with the incredible all expression incredulous expression I didn't know you're so articulate. Come on, you know I can't re even read quick. Read well, you flick your tail. I'm just a ray. Yay! Okay. Here, she said something. Wait. Give me just a second. Okay. <laughs> 
Cheese. Okay. She left a croissant sandwich. Hmm. Uh, let me see. I'm just eating my dinner and other things. Okay. So I talked to you. God, I keep thinking those glasses are like a face mask. March. Hey, I heard the news. You're coming with us on the express, right? Do you want me to come along? Do I even need to say it? I think we're becoming fast friends. Isn't that enough? Oh. Right. I don't have a... But you look like you've got something on your mind. Come on, out with it. Oh, how time flies. Getting nostalgic already? You know, when you were passed out, all I thought was I had to look after you. And then you picked up the bat? Just incredible! In the blink of an eye, you knocked that big fella into Mr. Yang's black hole and saved me. 
I still haven't thanked you properly yet. Nah, we're not splitting up here. <laughs> How did you join the express? I'd like to know too. <laughs> I was already on the train when I woke up. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just drifting out there in space and got picked up by the express. Amazing, right? Hmm. Does this happen often? Crazy stuff like that? Not too often. It sure freaked me out. But every encounter I've had since coming aboard the Express has been strange to say the least. For example, going to the desert to catch something called a sandfish, correcting a gravitational field to flip an upside down castle, <laughs> or almost getting my head cracked open by a Galena ball falling from the sky while trying to avoid a sleeping reindeer on the road. <laughs> Huh. What the Looking hell? back now, it all seems quite dangerous. But I had the crew there with me, so the problems didn't seem all that bad. <laughs> oh my god. I'm thinking about it. I should get on the express. Of course you should! Why wouldn't you? There's only four of us now, plus Pom Pom. Each of us can have our own carriage to sleep in. You wouldn't have the heart to leave your carriage unmanned, would Yay. you? Oh, thank you, Garchin. Yo! Uh, not much. Eating and, uh... Trying to, uh... Doing story. How's it going? Well... I just spent a long ass time uh getting the uh oh what 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 the uh bubbles done because I decided to just read them all out. And I don't speak very well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, I mean, streaming that long has made me just have to get up and eat, but yeah, it's totally doable. Also, before that, uh, well, even before this game, I think like the first two and a half hours of the stream, I was, uh, Finishing up the newest event in Genshin. So. There was that. Oh yeah, then there was also a uh, level 16 that I had an infuriatingly hard time trying to kill. I think I died like six times to it. That was fun. Sounds like more Join of your guys' problem. Then it wouldn't be a problem anymore. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like Genshin, but also... I don't know why, but this kind of just gives me a Mass Effect feel. On top of... I think you're a higher AR than... No, I'm AR 50. I'll be waiting for you. Uh, okay, uh, let me go. All right, oh, talked. It's you. Okay. I haven't really done the warping for this. I honestly kind of just want to see what it's like to actually play a game free to play. Despite the fact that I do well in every other gotcha. Uh, 
I kind of do want to see like how far I can get with uh, without wailing. Granted, um, the fact that Silver Wolf is coming out, uh, I, yeah, uh, how many do I, uh, I don't really want to. Oh, let's see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. My five star is Gephardt. Huh. I was honestly kind of hoping for uh, healing, but... Oh, really? Apply shield to... Oh, wow! <laughs> okay. That's a that's a nice ultimate. <laughs> okay, that actually I do like March, but admittedly, uh she get she March tends to die really easily. <laughs> uh, Wait, oh, characters. Get you up to everyone else. That breakfast like hun is the best horse. Oh. Yeah, I can tell. But Top this off with uh, Herda's uh, ability to follow up. It just gets ridiculous. Like. <laughs> I when it comes to light cones, I I I really need uh, more options. <laughs> Is five star the highest for light cones, or does it, for some reason, go up to like six? A team. Five is the highest. Okay. But what? 
one of the main reasons why I like March so much, uh, her arrows? Really fucking nice. Ah. Okay. Interesting. I mean, that kind of does make sense for the light cones to have better odds than a character, but... Oh my god. Punchy punch. March is amazing for Clara because her shield gives aggro to the per- Huh. Basically, attack her. She can then use her follow up. Hmm. So you're always getting her, uh, That's Clara. Ah. <laughs> yep. So you're just... <laughs> Like, March's follow-up attack has killed a lot of enemies for me. <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh, I think I have literally done everything I can here, so... Uh, we're done. Here we go. So? Have you thought things through? I still have something to talk to you about. Hmm? Go ahead, speak your mind. Thank you. There's no need to be so formal. You helped us defeat that big fella anyway. Plus, if we keep making pleasantries, we'll waste a whole day. You've done me a huge favor by defending the space station from the Antimatter Legion. And know that while Herda may not admit it, she owes me one. She won't refuse me if I ask for a favor in return. And it's probably not too much to ask for a rare item from the space station, right? <laughs> How about we continue talking on the express? I'll make you a cup of coffee. My special blend. Are you taking care of everything? <laughs> I was ready ages ago. <sighs> I've been here so many times before. It should have just been an ordinary trip for me. But everything's not so ordinary anymore, is it? Walking the same path over and over will never be the same. There will always be something new. That's the meaning of trailblazing. Next stop. As always, to follow in the footsteps of Akivili. Sometimes we stop on other worlds and we'll continue to do so. There are countless next stops in the galaxy. I love the vast reaches of space, and the Express does too. I want to seek out new worlds, and the Express wants to return to its former path. Why because you're me? different. Hmm. 
I'm very self-aware. <laughs> well, the fact that you have a Stellaron in your body is not something most people can boast about. I think you need a chance. A chance to discover just how different you really are from everyone else. Everybody keeps telling you how special you are and how you have a Stellaron inside you. But that's already plain as day to you. And no matter who tells you, be it me or Herda or anyone, Jeez. it's not the same thing as feeling it yourself. You have to experience enough to know if you've gained or lost anything because of the Stellaron, and to know who you really are. Learn to control the Stellaron, and then you can control your destiny. The Stellaron might still be an enigma, but the fact of the matter is, it's a part of you. And you have to embrace this before you can move forward into the future. How much further is the main story currently? Do I have left? So, have you thought things through? So I feel like they wouldn't just have me get on the express and suddenly, oh, got away. Two or three. Okay. I will join. Me. The way <laughs> to celebrate. Let's go. I'll be mm. waiting. Time to get on. Till we make it. Huh. I was not expecting that kind of song. Hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Oh, you're Pom Pom. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Mm hmm. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express. And everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm pretty sure I'm more special I'm than Pom -Pom, anybody else. The Just come find can you guys you talk to gods trouble. regularly? I don't think so. That's right. Okay. Nope. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh. Flame. 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 Only has nine perks. So. Nine. I mean, technically, isn't Genshin seven parts? Which would mean this is more. Oh, boo. Oh, this thing. Himiko likes using the phonograph a lot. She says it can play melodies from the past. Uh huh. Well, likes collecting these jet black discs. It seems like they could be antiques. He'd be very happy if you could bring a few back. Oh, I already have one.
Phonograph. Change the music when on the expressway. Bubblegum, potato chips, ice soda, all is ready and Silver Wolf's favorite show is about to start. Hmm. Alessinate. Well, fantasy longs lead the world astray, science steadily, and Silver Leech is. Incredibly quiet music. Take the journey. Hmm. Ooh. I have to turn that up a lot, but God. That's the battle music, isn't it? Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, I could imagine that, actually. Uh, I... I feel like I need to turn up the volume again. Just to actually hear shit. <laughs> oh, hey. Flame. Flame red. That, that just gave me... Great temple. Really don't want to start wailing in this game, but also... triggering the LC banner isn't Hmm. I kind of want to just wait for the uh, uh, uh the, the silver wolf banner that's coming soon because my god, silver wolf. Oh, this will. Oh, it's you. How do you feel? Well, of energy. Great. 
Looks like your stamina is really quite special. In any case, I have to thank you for saving March. Yes, but Silver Wolf is waifu. You guys saved me too. All I did was calm that thing inside you down temporarily. I don't want to frighten you, but the truth is you won't ever be in the clear while it's still inside your body. However, as long as the Stellaron is still in your body, you should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again. But I won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station, you must be tired. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. What do you think? Does the Astral Express look the same as you imagine? As I expected, it looks like a train. Everyone on the Express is a passenger. We're all heading towards an unknown destination. Like we're traveling together. Maybe that's why the Trailblaze chose such a look. Oh, right. March and Don Hung should both be in their rooms right now. You can go look for them. You youngsters should get along well. What about we here? We usually meet up here, but our personal cabins are in the next carriage. Also, don't mind Pom Pom's antics. They're actually pretty interested in you. It's just that we haven't had new passengers on the express for a long while. All right, I won't steal Pom Pom's thunder. If you have any questions, just go ask our conductor. But I won't bore you any longer. I can. So much happened at the space station. Oh, it's station. huge. It you must be looks tired. like they will be. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. He very much does sound like a dad. <laughs> uh, he kind of. His voice kind of gives me that little comfy vibe. Like the, the father who's. A father who's actually there. <laughs> Or at least sort of tries to leave. Hey! Y y you don't have any questions to ask Pom Pom? Uh? Is it because you think Pom Pom talks too much? Or is it Pom Pom's age? You youngsters gotta learn to bridge that generation gap. Supportive father, yeah. Sad up, Pom You recognize this as well? Uh, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. March, March, oh? seventh room. Why are you interested in her room? What? Ah, oh. Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Mmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that is what a trailblazer should be like. March, seventh room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. Uh, voice isn't as high pitched, but honestly, Pylon's kind of growing on me. Especially the most recent event. Don Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives? Ah, uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. I'm trying Pom Pom to... still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom Pom, Pom, Pom will always have my eyes on you. Sounds like it. Pom... Pom Pom is specifically reminding me of... God, what mascot character? I want to say it was from like Persona or something, but 
very much Pom Pom is giving off vibes of a mascot character, like a very specific one. And I think the conductor part is a solid part of it, and I can't remember what. Passenger cabin. Yep, dude. There seems to be the sound of electronic equipment. Oh yeah, I forgot. They have her talk a lot more than uh I haven't even not learned to sense incoming visitors after people kept barging in so frequently. <clears throat> I mean, you do kind of live in what's known as the archives. Can I help you? Just look around. This is open to everyone on the express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist. I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I enter the collected data into the Archives databank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters, and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the databank. Hmm. Do give it a go. You know, knowing him, he's probably comfortable on the floor. Oh, no, there it is. Pretty much the floor. <gasps> Mind you, this is supposed to be a room for everybody. That anybody can enter at any time. Honestly, a futon ain't that bad. It's better than actually sleeping on the floor. Maybe. Bookshelf. I collect it. One, one, four. One, 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 six, one, one, three. Huh. I think I really did get everything on that damn, uh, place. So this is... okay. So, literally the bookshelf that I can just access. Okay. Oh, there's this. Databank stores various information collected during the trailblaze... Ah! Oh, here's how you can view all the characters. Okay, this is where the backstory is. Okay. I was wondering where that was. My name is Japard Landau. Japard. I'm the captain of the Silvermane Guards. Ooh. If you discover anything suspicious in the city, you can always report it to me. You're here. Once slumbered in internal ice in those. Huh. Okay, I was kind of wondering where the Mark 7 came from. Noted. Uh, what's the light cones? Imagine of those 67 that her real story is. Ours is destruction. Oh. 
something irreplaceable. Increase the wearer's attack by 24. When the wearer defeats an enemy or is hit, immediately restore 8% of... Okay. Oh, wow. This effect cannot... Wait. At the same time, the wearer's damage will increase by 24% until the end of their next turn. Cannot be stacked or triggered multiple times in the same turn. But oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's a. Yeah! That's pretty good! Just. Oh my god. I didn't even read the story behind it. Should day come when... Well, I... I do sorta know that, uh... Like, the, the robot is like her adoptive father, but... Her sort of. Okay. Uh Hmm. Blade, Silver Wolf, Sam, four mention above, dead or alive. Do not hurt the destiny slave. Do not of chaos oh god that <laughs> these guys sound like they're gonna be real fun elixir seekers antimatter legion annihilation gang the family oh hey there was a thing about this Every blast can be cool. Huh. Genius Society. Yep. X Preservation. International Space. Police. Person. Thing. Something. Hmm. much <laughs> except I mean even then like even just like the uh, Archons these guys don't necessarily show themselves but sometimes maybe supposedly they try not to get involved but apparently they do Ice cream done. I'll put that up later. the index of everything. This apparently 
Arch room. The door is unlocked. Should I go in? Just, peek. Just one look should be fine, right? Oh my gosh. Yep. Seems about right for her. Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. So much had happened in such a short time. Six picture. Hmm. Huh. Great, now I can't unsee that. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Shh. Let's, wait, what does that say? You don't quite understand why spot this mirror. Oh my god, please tell me these are outfits for Pom- for Pom Pom. Please tell me these are outfits for Pom Pom. She totally seems like she would. Maybe during a minigame. Investigate doesn't move an inch as if it were glued in space. Boo. Oh, coffee. Huh. Interesting. Hey, yo, aren't you supposed to be uh, going to the. Also, that little detail is kind of nice. Ooh, March. Uh, there you are. Wait, this is your first trip. So that should be double the excitement, right? I'm ready. I'm ready to go. That's the spirit. <laughs> I was excited the first time I experienced a warp jump, too. But I'm used to it now. Don't worry, you'll get used to it too. And before you know it, you'll be a mature and dependable passenger just like me. The first step is to grab a hold of the root cause of your anxiety. Uh. You can't just grab something like that. Well, it is a little abstract, but basically you just need to pinpoint what's bothering you. The second step is to focus all your anxiety on that point. She... It's okay. Where, where's my mouse? It, yeah, very mature. Definitely not just a little sister kind of character. Uh, 
the sword mumbo jumbo about transferring cause is there is this uh, this is science don't get distracted <sighs> focus now for step three Yank little sister airhead but also adorable all your might Come on, that's just using cycle. That doesn't mean it won't work. The best method for relieving anxiety is the one that works, right? I'll say this compared to like a bunch of other little sister type characters, she's not nearly as bad or annoying. I don't know why, but. What's wrong? You look- Oh. I think I know what you're going to ask. You've come to the right person. Ooh, you want to know more about the Express? I'm glad. After all, it's an important companion of ours. Oh, wow. There's going to be a The lot. Astral Express was a tool created by Akivili the Trailblaze, who used it to transport themselves and the Nameless across the galaxy. It is rumored that there are other vehicles like it, but the Express has no such records. When I found the Express, its memory had been severely damaged, with much of its valuable information lost. All I know is that the Express is an aspect of creation built by Akivili themselves and used to travel the cosmos. As for how it was built and how it was damaged, I do not have an answer. Hmm. Where is the this The Express is traveling on a route that the Trailblaze once embarked on. The names of some destinations have been lost, but the first and final stops were both at Pagana. Akivili's home world. We speculate the Astral Express started its journey from Bagana, stopping at each destination along the way before returning there for its next journey. Oh. However, the appearance of the Stellaron has caused a delay at each stop. Well, start throwing more money at it, just like we did Genshin. There's a legend in the galaxy. The heart of Akivili themselves lies in the core of the Astral Express, providing it with the power to travel between worlds. Actually, that makes me think, but wonder, no evidence of that how, how much of the Honka, Honkai Besides, universe the Express existed before is the Trailblaze in this game? There's no way they could have had two hearts, right? Because I feel like I'm missing However, a lot of stuff. It is likely that the Express possesses some sort of mechanism to transfer power from the Trailblaze. It wouldn't be possible with a normal path strider. The fallen eon, deceased trailblaze. Their passing is still a mystery, but of all the known eons, Akivili was the closest to mankind. In the data bank aboard the Express, it is recorded that they walked among the mortals, adventuring, oh, fighting, okay. and celebrating with them. Although they were an eon restrained by the Prima Mobile. Akivili enjoyed a freedom similar to us mortals. They were different from most. But their passing came so suddenly that it was thought they were killed by another eon. I don't believe that to be the case. Another question about the galaxy. <laughs> the galaxy is endlessly vast. I wouldn't know where to begin, especially when you ask me like that so suddenly. Jeez, there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to many different worlds, yet also, I still know very I little very about the galaxy, in the lore. simply because it's too vast. As for its nature, there are a few theories that I can share with you. The most popular is probably the Cosmos Tree Theory, proposed by Xandar, emanator of erudition and the first member of the Genius Society. He compared the galaxy to an enormous imaginary tree with its leaves being individual universes. Hmm. Therefore, only eons who draw their energy from the imaginary and emanators who are blessed by eons can travel through the spaces filled with imaginary energy. 
That's why planets where civilizations exist are so similar. Actually, wait. However, the theory has its flaws. Elias Salas, the 56th member of the Genius Society, invented remote detection, disproving that the imaginary is unique. This shook the foundation of the cosmos tree theory. There are other theories as well. The stretching theory, the heat torch theory, and the parallel imaging theory. The Riddlers claim the galaxy is just a dream. <coughs> and IX's followers seem to like that claim. It was all just a dream after all. A very good out if this somehow failed. Eons are the most mysterious beings in the galaxy. All we know is that they ascended from the form of intelligent beings. As for the how and why, even the geniuses over at the Genius Society haven't the slightest clue. Upon that, ascending to Eon Hill, uh, that God, being when gained they do that. power over the paths, free to choose the allocation of imaginary energy however they wish, while suffering the restrictions of the Prima Mobile. The Eon of Destruction seeks only to destroy the universe, while the Eon of Erudition wants to find the answer for all that exists. Meanwhile, the Eon of Preservation continues to forge walls, and the Eon of Enigmata devotes itself to obscuring all that is known. A cloud of uh, mystery shrouds the eons. When you I can tell the English to try text and solve the mysteries about them. is not the English text is not this is not always the same as uh, the spoken dialogue. And the exact instance I was referring to is uh, the text read the heavyweights of the Genius Society, but she specifically said the geniuses of the Genius Society, which is kind of more of a mouthful than just, like, heavyweights of the Genius Society. Like, Genshin had that a lot early on, too. Which makes me think that it more kind of has to do with uh, how much time they have. Or it makes me think that because it's early in development, that for some reason there's a little bit of miscommunication or they're just trying to hurry up. Because I know Genshin has definitely fixed a lot of it. It still happens occasionally, but I've noticed it a few times since starting this game so ho hopefully that stuff can get fixed because that is a little bit annoying compared to the eons the factions are much easier to understand mortals with the same objective gather together to practice their understanding of eons and paths many eons are unreachable but the factions are close to us after Akivili trailblazed across the galaxy, people became aware of the existence of other worlds. Gradually, more people well, started in, trying to use the in power of the eons scenes. to travel between worlds. The Interastral Peace Corporation is a good example. They worship Klopoth, the Eon of Preservation, but I feel like even the in these kinds of scenes in, in Genshin, they actually Another do uh, is the Genius Society. There are no shortages what of eccentrics like Madame Herder. They actually who do like themselves to scientific pseudo mouth movements, the even. Of the erudition. These factions like, possess the same power as us to just voyage between essentially worlds. mind talking it would be to each other. To travel through the galaxy without them. The Not birth pets. of an eon gives rise to a path. The nature of the paths remains a mystery leaving us to draw an analogy in a way that mortals can understand. It's a philosophical concept of sorts. A person is considered to be on a path when their will overlaps with that path. If the person has a strong enough will, they can draw power from that path. Those who can do so are called path striders. Path striders possess extraordinary power, but are still insignificant compared to the eons, like a drop of water in a vast ocean. Sometimes eons will bestow a mortal with their power, making them an emanator of that eon. I know, I have a feeling. I um, should mention that once a path is open, of, uh, it cannot be closed, even uh, with the back, fall uh, of its eon. That is how we are still able to travel across the stars, despite Akivili's passing. 
Why do I have a feeling that's why I'm called Trailblazer? Trailblaze is our mission, and the source of strength that powers the Express to travel across the galaxy. Oh my god, there's so much about Explore exploration. The unknown world to continue our journey ahead. Understand the local culture and immerse ourselves within it. Establish. Establish a connection with the new world. Rejoice with it and share in its fears. Connection. Connect worlds together, carving an endless path. Another question? Okay. Jeez. So much. Uh... This is your first time experiencing the warp jump, so a little discomfort is unavoidable. If you're really anxious about it, I can stay here and have a chat with you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> about everyone on the Express? Who would you like to know about? <laughs> Jeez, there's She's so much. the owner of the Express. We joke around calling Pom Pom the conductor, but everyone knows Himiko is the boss. It all started with her encounter with the Astral Express, and they haven't been apart since then. She's extremely passionate, like a, a burning sun. However, she remains mysterious most of the time. Once in a while, you feel that she's burning herself out trying to accomplish her dream. Only someone like her is worthy of the Astral Express. I think Himiko's vision of her whole life revolves around uh, a very important dream. Hmm. Okay, what's the deal with Pom Pom? To be honest, I don't know when Pom Pom appeared. Uh, I think it was before I came to the Express. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe it was after. <laughs> Pom Pom is like the spirit of the Astral Express. Whenever anyone on the Express needs help, they will appear immediately. It would be ill-advised to underestimate them. Pom Pom is terrifying when they get angry. <laughs> oh. Yes, it's terrifying. Huh. Dan Hung yeah. is a lonely child. He may appear distant and cold, but his heart is kind. Perhaps he's the way he is today because he spent so much time on the run. Sometimes he reminds me of myself when I was young. He used to work at the Xianzhou. We don't know what he's running from. He once told me that he didn't know either. All he knew was that something was chasing him and that he had to run. So he ah. boarded the ship of a troop called the Morning Actors and escaped the IPC. After a while, he made his way to the Express and he's stayed here longer than anywhere else. Don't worry. No matter who or what wants to hurt Don Hung, we won't let them. Those who dare attack members of the Astral Express should be prepared to suffer the wrath of me and Himiko. Okay, mom and dad. Protect our... Protect your precious children. Did Himiko tell you about March 7th? Um, she was trapped in ice, floating through space. We happened upon her and rescued her. It was a unique type of ice known as six-phase ice, a substance that adheres to imaginary law, meaning that external forces cannot change its form. Whoever sealed her inside the six-phased ice, no matter who it is, did so either to protect her or banish her. Uh. I believe she had been floating through space for some time. Oh, probably. Space is very large. It's impossible to trace the origins of this phenomenon. When it's observed by humans, or should I say, once it begins to affect the physical world, it's already too late to reverse. 
It's like a sudden storm that appears on a calm ocean. This phenomenon causes the smooth journey through the expanse to be filled with dangers. Yeah. The mechanism <laughs> whereby this mutation and corrosion spreads is the Stellarons. It yeah, rip and rapidly piece the uh, cancer cells. So warehouse. the International Peace Corporation named it the cancer of all worlds. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't grow too too much with the uh, inside a uh, hetera's her I want to keep calling her hetera. It's herda. Herda. Heard his thing. Uh, about the they are the army leech. ruled by the eon of destruction, Nanook. As Nanook's followers, they stand against all life and civilization and execute the will of destruction, disseminating chaos and calamity. Ah. Their actions cannot be explained by reason, because their only motivation and purpose is to destroy. <laughs> Noted. Fragmentums are a phenomenon of corrosion. The mainstream school of thought is that Stellarons catalyzed the appearance of fragmentums. All matter and space that comes into contact with the fragmentum will be turned into fragmentum creations. However, you don't have to feel too burdened. At the very least, the current state of the Stellaron in your body is very stable and will not cause distortion to the outside. Oh, that's good. Okay, no more questions. Okay, that's all of them. Hi, right, Pom Pom. <sighs> you took long enough. But at least everyone's here now. Hey, I was talking with people. Also, Dan. He won't be here, so just leave him be. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Take these. What's A tiny these? bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Oh. Ah. Lame. 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 Oh my god, all my level rewards. Lame. Lame. Flame. How far did I? Flame. Flame. Okay. I got quite a few. Uh, okay, everyone, tickets. hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March, always running around the express like a headless chicken. <laughs> Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. Whee! More free standard bowls. Oh, hey, friends. This game's friend system isn't nearly like, uh... Do friend actually what do friends end up doing for it's just is this just basically fate's friend system where you get a support character oh hey I can access the dive bank uh Okay. So they couldn't really find a way to incorporate warp system or the friend system. Fourteen three. Huh.
It's free tickets. Let's go ahead. Okay. Nothing. And nothing. Oh. Is it? Nope. Oh. Oh. oh, right. The Guardian? <laughs> Why not? Also, oh my god, you're six. How long has this game been out? Skins on out for what? Like a week? <laughs> Why is everybody sitting apart a month or two? Oh. Eh? Are you ready to move on to the next planet? What's well, the next stop for the Express? Not like I have much else. The universe. The Astral Express. A giant whale. Eons. I know I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something. This Stellaron thing in my body. Hey, God. <laughs> I've done stuff like that before, but it wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters Arch, of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. I wanted to see more of the space whales! Rescue from ice? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out... Oh, there was somebody the else. Saved me. How did... I don't remember a thing. Space whales! Who I am? Where I'm Save from? Save the space whales. Like everything was erased from my mind. The space jellyfish are gonna March kill them all. The day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? Sorry. It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh, <laughs> cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about ten minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. We are sitting. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. <laughs> That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. God. <laughs> uh, we're jumping in five minutes. You can have something to drink when it's over. But I'm thirsty now. Jumps are like this. They may feel novel the first few times, but you'll slowly get used to them after a few more. As for the mechanism, well, if you're interested, uh, I'll explain it to you in detail when we have more time. Okay, I have a slight now, complaint. Just <laughs> sit and wait. 
Remember to close your eyes. It helps with the dizziness. Uh, I have, uh... I, I... This... This game has... First jump, start. Uh... Me yeah, we're gonna go plat. We're gonna go plat speed. Um... The character design and the characters themselves. Granted, the characters themselves are tropes which do get used heavily, but the character design specifically. Uh, this is like if you fused Oscar and Crow from fucking Ruby into one character. This is just Nora. Dan is just Rin. Like, ugh, God. I don't recommend it. The only reason I ha have watched it and continue to watch it is because I am determined to watch the train wreck unfold completely. Our next stop is a small planet called Urelo 6. It's been thousands of years since the last time the Express paid a visit. The databank shows it was a lush and beautiful place. But after all this time, it's possible that dramatic changes have occurred. The worst part is, he even has a fucking cane he uses. That... Yeah, you know, it. She did say it's been quite a while. Oh, so. don't worry about me. I just want to see if I can stay on my feet this time. Oh my gosh. Don't hurt yourself. It's fine. I'm sturdier than I look. Besides, the ice will protect me. When I'm in danger, I instinctively create ice to protect myself. Huh. Though, sometimes falling on the ice actually hurts more than falling on the ground. Well, don't mind me. Find a place to sit down and buckle up. This thing has seatbelts? Oh boy. A comfy sofa. Feels like you'll... Hold on tight and wait for the jump to finish. Hello? Hello, hello? All passengers, please return to your seats. I mean, considering she was stuck in uh, ice for so long. Six has become ah global uh, warming. So that snowy oh, wait. planet is our destination this time. Okay, so this is yes. what happens like when the day after tomorrow was yesterday. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star visibility is down to twelve percent. Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Indefinitely, you say? Indefinitely. Until the anomaly is removed. Well. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. But we're on a flying train. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? I... If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. <laughs> the results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a Stellaron, as always. 
Of course. Oh boy. Stellaron. Like the thing in my yes. body? Just like the one that's been placed into your body. What should we do? Don't worry. It's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Of course not. <laughs> Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herta isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such <laughs> as fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between or if the, the whole planet became uh, Antarctica. Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. So we're like a chivalrous band of cosmic knights. Great! You finally get what we're <laughs> all about. Pretty cool, huh? Uh. I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. Oh, the what? You can't join my team for free? Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions. You and Walt can't and join my team for free? We'll deal Come with on, this. you're right here. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! You're not coming? Like... Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Not to mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. Oh boy. So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. Oh, we literally just had a bonding thing. Room. Why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Ah, a grand, cool adventure. Okay. Uh, I need to find Dan. Uh, what? Okay. I'm gonna be right back. I need to take some eggs. Hey! No.
Yeah, that's definite. Yep, that is pom pom walking. <laughs> I don't think that, uh. Pom 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 pom. Oh, I guess that could be a pom pom. Okay. Hi, Dan. Are you doing okay after your first jump? You know, somehow, yes. Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Uh, why aren't you with everyone else? I enjoy being alone. Especially when I have important work to do. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. Oh, really? It was not a frozen planet to begin with. Uh-huh. Well, it says it's caught by Stellaron. Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If huh. I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. Hey. Yumiko wants you, me, and March to go together. As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, uh, watch the day after I'd tomorrow. Be the one to be global warming turns energy. into global frozen. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Hey, found March. Hey, I found March. She's just right over here. You can literally see her. Uh huh. Okay. Loney? Loner? Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? Uh... Full of enthusiasm. Really? I find that hard to believe. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice. A very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. What? This might actually be your home world. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. Eh. What? I like the dialogue. Is there something on my face? <laughs> nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. So much. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and nah. now you. <laughs> Let's go. All right, here comes the Urelo 6 Trailblaze team. Okay, I get why Urelo 6 March isn't freezing. Is the Celeron <sighs> It really is one big snowball. I don't feel that cold. Well the trailblaze path grants us faint power. <laughs> it allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. Ah <sighs> snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go! I meant, for me, for your character, I can imagine the Celeron is actually, like, has some sort of effects. 
for uh March. Why didn't we land? Why didn't we land at hmm. destination? Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Taikin Stadium, or shall I? Um. Oh, please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Uh huh. Uh. Unless you oh my God, her facial expressions are already beautiful. I said, drop it. Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers. Mysterious and ice crystal. Don Hung, uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Let's just make sure we're not the ones causing trouble. <laughs> well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. Okay, navigation. Things that navigate. You can travel between different worlds and areas. Aha. Meaning, R1. Then, right. That. Oh, they created an underground society now. Ah, ah. Live underground where the thermal heat is. I see. Oh, there's Star Up. Okay, and that's how I can get back. Neat. This place still hasn't been corroded, yet Fragmenta monsters have already made it here. Oop. Too late to repent. Time to twirl. Let's go. No, I just time to twirl. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. Time to twirl. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Oh, can't smash it. What a strange object. It really seems out of place in snowy plains. Maybe Mr. Young will know about this. Let's send a message and ask. Uh, the hell is this? It's a calyx. Ah, uh, there. Ah. Beat enemies to Nope. Ah. Ah. Here's the farming. Yeah, should be fine. Fighting is meaningless. This sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Time to twirl! Time to twirl! Yeah. Time to twirl! Yeah. Rules are made to be broken. Okay. Whoa. Time to twirl. Yeah. Is that all? Yeah. 
Oh my god, his health though. The sanctuary is but a vision. Time to twirl. Uh, uh hold on, I Time to twirl. I wasn't paying attention and didn't press buttons correctly, but is with I auto I don't if I have auto on it means I don't give a fuck what is happening I'm just trying to get through some battles <laughs> if I actually didn't want to you if I wanted to control my auto or uh, ult, auto uh, ult use blah, I would just do it myself Flame. The hell? After entering battle. Huh. Okay, that could actually be, uh, that, that seems pretty good for... What's his name? Okay, eager for battle. Uh. Tutorials, yep, okay. Characters. Light cone. Uh, yeah, this one seems better. Also, add. Level up. Oh my god, you can't ascend. Uh. Okay. So. R2. Some game modes allow support characters to assist in combat. Friends or system recommended support. Use friends or system recommended support characters. Oi. So harmony, that's for accepted. Okay. Uh. Do 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 do.
Oh god, a level 60, huh? Fighting is meaningless. Eliminating threat. Eliminating threat, okay. Just a scratch. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Rules are made to be broken. A will forged in ice never falters. Okay, I'm assuming Clara's, uh, Stay back, Clara. what her speed is very low, isn't it? Eliminating threat. Damage reduction. Oh. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Yeah. Okay, so that's her like one downfall. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I can see that uh Rules the ult in a shield. <laughs> One more time. One more time. One more time. This sanctuary is but a vision. Break. The will forged in ice never falters. Oh, yeah, I could definitely see that. Also, I get Ah, I see. But it almost. This sure can but the also. Break. Rules okay. are made to be broken. I'm not afraid of you. Ah, her triangle. So much damage. I don't know why either, honestly. It seemed like it kind of just uh, kept doing. I don't know. What I can say. Oh my god. Uh. Holy shit. <laughs> Character has five. I will say, thank you for those achievements. I would not have gotten them in a while, but <laughs> shit. What banner is Clara? Clara is just like. Only claim once. Hmm. Uh, 
spent these. It just seems like she's completely OP. Also, the fact that she is currently, like, in this complete... Uh, yeah, no, yeah, she... God, those cost a lot. <laughs> How much pity I actually have. Well, okay. Jerk. How good is Ronya? Ronya? Er, wait, oh, er, how? Wait, no, I. Okay. Characters. Okay, buffing. Lightning damage equal to 50%. Single ally with benediction increase their attack by 25% up to 15% of Ingus. An ally with benediction regenerates 50 energy for a single ally and increase the target's damage by 20%. It doesn't. Hmm. Huh. That's what I put on her. Right. Nope, oh, wait. What I really wish I had was a damn healer, but <laughs> I control her. Tasha down the road. Wait, is she the free one? Wait, there was one that... Hold on. Where... Okay. Flying and rust, okay. And then you can also eventually get her. I mean, she has mo Mojang tiles. Oh. 
You know, saying that just makes me want to use her more. What? So that's one jade to... God. Yeah, I kind of want to try her. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um. Oh, hey, cool. I got quite a few. I need to be level 15 to do it. Boo. She has a high skill skill ceiling. I could imagine. I don't need it. I'm going to be 100%. I... I feel like... Three quantum. Okay. Dan isn't that good, is he? Like, just straight up. Because I feel like compared to literally everybody else, his... that single target niche not nearly as helpful considering your character can also do some pretty decent single target damage. I mean, he kind of falls off now, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'd rather put in... Hmm. She was OP? Wait, are these classes based or uh, just a thing in uh, Honkai Universe? Wait, uh, nope, doop, 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 doop. Okay. Is she just... She closes her eyes for that. Interesting. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we make a pretty good team. Okay, having her plus that speed up. Yeah. I like that. Huh? Did you see that? I think something's moving. Hmm. It's just an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? Oh, well, let's... Of course not. My eyesight's perfect. Come on, let's take a closer look. Keep at it. Get out of there, or you'll shiver to death. Sounds like he's already shivering to death. Holding your breath won't help. <laughs> I got this, March. 
Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Ouch! <coughs> My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. <laughs> no, it might. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jafard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. I mean, he is, but really? he's not. Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Hi, dude. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never Shampoo. I, I keep wanting to read his name as that. I'm not gonna lie. Wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> Who is this voice actor? Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel. The main strength of the Silvermane Guards <laughs> is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. Uh... What business are you talking about? Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a silver main guard. <laughs> Is there some nearby? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Oh, wait, I just realized we're an Atlas. More Ruby shit. Oh my god. Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. Seriously, though, try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. Oh, I could take them. I can't. He's definitely like doing. You really don't know? The Silvermane guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people, and they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. It's un. <laughs> Seems like you huh. guys really are new to the business. <laughs> you know, I could actually young, see that. Naive again. How about this? Or hear that. A senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. I don't need to hide from Why guards. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. But 
But it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, Sampo. Quiet. Sampo. Spotted by the guard. Kindness, Kosky. Huh? So why were you hiding from the Silver Main guards? Yeah, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. Uh -huh. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, <laughs> there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Uh-huh. Sure you do. Definitely don't want to try to get dirt on us. So then you could throw us in a slam or two. Because you know for a fact you're going to get caught. I really just want to smash these things. So I feel like if I don't, they'll end up coming back to life. What is he? Oh my god. Just because I fucking wandered off? Uh. Heal slightly. Rule number seven never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Uh huh. Who are they? I believe those uh, are guards. You remember the silver main guards I mentioned? Oh, Who yeah. Them? Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. Oi, we aren't the we aren't accomplices, you dumbasses. It's now or never. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, where Who's do that? you think yeah. you're? <laughs> That's strong. Welcome, customers. So actually, if I do that, do you know who and I this? This big diamond. <laughs> it's all yours. Time to twirl. <laughs> because she also gains a fucking bonus when she kills somebody. Landau, captain of the Silver Main Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Suspect, relinquish your resistance. Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Uh, forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. He must be gone. Oop. Ow. Ow. Let's go. Take this. Hey, fuck you. Rules are made to be broken. Oh, shit. I just noticed that. Speed up on. Uh. Last. <laughs> Time to twirl! Hope you're prepared. Shh. Okay, what is ice damage with chance of freezing? Eh. Punch. Yeah. X. Command. A thousand wonders to raise your spirits. Shit, what's her uh regenerate? Energy for a single ally increased damage. Okay, so Take Let's go. Yeah. Oop. This ends here. That? And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. You know, I thought about it, but... 
I no keep matter. wanting to think we have his accomplices that the He'll same type res plotting his that a character of the same type is just going to resist. I I too many games have that kind of thing, so Well, it's not only just Pokémon, but like Sona fucking uh I mean, Fate even has that kind of triangle system. Like, where certain types cannot do, or aren't as good as other, or, sir, yeah. Look, my brain has been trained over fucking decades. <laughs> uh... You might be waiting longer than you think. Been forever. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the Architects, not now. We aren't Bellabog take citizens. Them away. We aren't Bellabog citizens. But we're not from Bellabog! Exactly! Show him the photos, March! Photos? Ah, oh, you're a genius! Great idea! I got this. You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. <laughs> you mean to say that this white ball that's here, that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond Enter the sky would visit us trap. here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. Ah! But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Ayoo! Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. Why do I feel like that was one of their many videos? about voice acting in Japan. Oh man, did Connor do his, uh, really, really stupid accent that he got into, like, Sid Meier's hey, game for like or something? Got a bit warmer. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched oh, earth. The antimatter legion. Lovely! Billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. Yet also buried. He's sure saying some weird stuff. Oh, a marked change in tone. It sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? Because we probably don't know wanted it. wanted to know. <laughs> Talk to every trash can you see. 
Oh boy. Uh After you endure a snowy storm, you were alive. Okay. See, the guards will notice if we stray too far off. We should stick close to Japard. There's a fucking chest there, though. Boo! We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats. Including the monsters you saw. The silver main guards oh. are continuously engaged with the enemy. But I'm afraid the situation is bleak. Mine, 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 After mine, mine. your meeting with the Supreme yes. Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking in intel. Ah. Oop, thing. Midterm exam paper, year, class two, year six, name, grade 30. Huh. Articles such as rock. <laughs> Did not. I did say don't leave any gaps and fill in the blank section, but this is not for you to do brain twisters in. You can use the distance, the size, the location. Rust. Have love reaction. <laughs> oh my god. Frost wave salmon will swim to a place with suitable temperature of past to pass the winter. Oh my god. Structures are called Sea Paws. They aren't ca <laughs> catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> sure. Mouth parts of adult funeral worms are needle for chewing. God. Oh, then I did say pick C if you don't know the answer. At least you listen to that. That's commendable. But can you at least look at the question? <laughs> nah. If you you could write some false answer to show you're actually thinking and comfort your poor teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Aggravated Simpson. This queue isn't moving. How long are we going to be here? Seems like quite a while. Or it's just... uh, what am I gonna do? <sighs> Only the Madam Guardian can help me. Nope, wrong one. This queue isn't moving. Aggressive. Hey, you got a problem? If you want to petition, then start queuing. Don't even think about pushing in. You can push me. Citizen. Say, the officer that you were speaking to, was that Japard Landau? 
What do you make of him? To a naked one? Why, he's a captain of the Silvermane Guards. Not to mention of noble birth. Uh-huh. I mean, he's a Landau. Cool. What does that mean? I could just find a way to tell him about my situation. I'm sure he'd help me. <sighs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I already missed my chance. Back to the queue, I guess. Okay, so this place works on a class system. And I... The guards will notice if we stray Boo. too far off. We should stick close to Japard. Oh my god, what is that over there? Is that a... Hit <laughs> <In> the idolized... <laughs> That is a very specific title for... I mean, to be fair, they also do have halberds and uh, very knightly masks. Okay. Yeah, I'm s I have to actually follow you. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. The Architects? The saviors of humanity. Long before the arrival of the Eternal Freeze, the Architects braved the doubts and derision of the people, never wavering from their construction of its defenses. History has proven that their decision was the correct one. The Architects named this fortress after Klepoth, Eon of Preservation. Under their direction, humanity has withstood external enemy attacks and held off the Eternal Freeze. Even today, we resist the Fragmentum's corrosion. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The uh. current guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Oh boy. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Is there any adequate we need to observe? Rest easy. The Madam Guardian doesn't care about formalities. Not to mention, you've only just arrived. It would be unexpected if you were familiar with Bellabog customs. Okay, fair enough. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madame Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. Oh man, this could also just be a, a entire- sacrifice. How can you- <clears throat> You may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> yes, mother. Mother, huh? Oh my. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You may leave. All right, are we going to get done Welcome, business? Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Uh... So you don't doubt our identity? Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, 
This world was once prosperous beyond measure. Yeah, that's what it. An eon we connected heard. our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Uh... We want to help you. We came you. here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Stellarons were cast by the app. The Eternal Freeze is a product of the Stellaron. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to fragmentums. You can see us as kind-hearted interstellar public servants lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. Mostly because we can't leave otherwise. Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? We can't leave otherwise. Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster. I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Thank you. Please help us locate the Stellaron. Well, this place is nice. If we we can get rid of it, your world will be safer too. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe don't, you. Don't don't question if me. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited seven hundred years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. Oh, thank you. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. We like to take a look around. But of course, you are Bellabog's honored guests and have the highest privileges oh, afforded my. to you. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Huh? Huh. Of course, I understand. Uh huh. Do not worry. I have a way. Oh boy. This sounds like it's gonna be fun. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Impress the sticker. She's the big shot. Definitely got that queen of the castle vibe going on. Oh, so cool. <laughs> 
I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Uh, wait! Can you recommend some sights? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. Give us one. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, mm -hmm. please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane guards stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. Oh, okay. So the corrosion is inside the city. That's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Oh, thank you, kind oh. sir. Okay. Uh... God. Okay, cool, and I can teleport to it. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna call it here. 11 hours, uh, it's really close to my fucking bedtime. Uh, goodbye! Thank you so much, Guardian Angel... Four. Oh my god, my brain is dead. Uh, for following and... Talking along with me. Uh, goodbye. I have to press.